What's up, what's up, what's up? What are we doing today? We're here in Spotify. How about you? How do you feel that Spotify's logo is just right above your head? Oh I know, you gotta God. stick it. Yeah, you, you have the, you got the best. I'm, I'm actually gonna take a couple pictures. Yeah. What's up, friends? And welcome back Damn. to IE and Friends at our 100th episode celebration. Yeah. Woo! Woo! You. Yes, sir. Yeah, we want to make a huge shout out to Spotify. We are currently in the Spotify studios, recorded here in Los Angeles, yes, California. Yes. Gracias. I yes. in Spo I in uh in, LA. in Spotify. I <laughs> in Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> they really let the I E in Spotify, bro. Yes. So, I hope they invite us back, but we are gonna get a little wild. We'll try not to break anything. Sorry. <laughs> in advance. But I uh, know this is huge. Yeah, this big, is deal, huge. big deal, big deal, big big yeah. accomplishment. Yeah, thank you to yeah, everyone. Our marketing this must be very expensive. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> our marketing. Budget. Oh yeah, our marketing budget is super expensive. You know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, our you know our daddies they they hit up <laughs> they hit up uh, Spotify CEOs. They're like, yeah, get them on for the hundred. Shout out to all those Mexican pages, you know. <laughs> shout, shout out to so Mexican everyone uh, who uh, shouts us out. <laughs> everyone we pay for. It. Yeah, but this is this is huge. Uh, I'm a little nervous. How I don't do you know feel? I'm nervous. How do you feel? How do you guys? Feel? Yeah, I feel like we. I feel know. like you guys should. Yeah. It's I'm, I and friends. Yeah. I and friends. Yeah. We're just here. We're just here tagging along. Yeah. So by the way, yeah. that, you, you guys can hear them. Here but for it's, moral support. Love y'all. Yeah, we brought in the besties. Woo we brought in Bueno Bueno. Uh, we brought the whole team to Spotify. We had yep. to for the uh, the collab everybody's been wanting and asking for. Yeah. We finally got Vanessa and Stephanie together. Yeah. I know. That was tough. Yeah, it was tough. You it know, was tough. You know, schedule. the artist life. It's Mom just life. Mm -hmm. the artist we can't life be everywhere at once. Yeah, yeah, nah, they've just been having a lot of beef off camera. Yeah. 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 They just squashed their beef today. And this actually. is an intervention. <laughs> it's an yeah. intervention yeah. for both of us. Real Housewives yeah. of the IE. Real Housewives Hey, it's an intervention for Caesar because Caesar's been drinking way too. You need to stop. What? Stop drinking. No, stop drinking alcohol. Oh, you're sir. just mad. Yes, I'm mad. You're just mad because you can't do it no more. I just want to care about you're you. You're mad because not that that bag on now. <laughs> yeah, you're mad because you're bag on. I can't do it because it hurts now. Five years old. Exactly. You guys do you are guys? Um, are you guys gonna celebrate today? Celebrate? Yeah, celebrate. Like, is we're there gonna celebrate. Yeah. Saturday. Since What's Saturday? Saturday. Oh, Saturday. <laughs> My, maybe tonight we'll go out for a nice dinner. Yeah, we might do like a dinner or something. Or the library. Okay, okay. The library. Oh, the library. The strip club. Disgusting. Strip club. Disgusting. You guys aren't down? <laughs> it's crazy how every guy knows what the library is. I've, been, I've never <laughs> yeah, been in there. How, never what's wrong, it, what's wrong with the strip club? Why is it disgusting? We're supporting women. Have you heard of the therapy room? That. I, no. It's better. We're Girls. paying for their bills. Hey, there's, you know what? Strippers who are they? They're therapists. Exactly. What were we talking about? We're talking about, is it cheating if your man goes to the strip club? Yeah. But, but what if he asks you? But, Why would he ask me that? <laughs> to go to the strip club. What if you're not a good talker? Yeah. <laughs> what if you just don't listen? What if you just don't listen? What if you're not listen? a good listener? What yeah, if you're not a good listener? How about this? Actually, I got, a, I got a good question for you two girls. Is it is it cheating if you go to a strip club, but you don't get a lap dance? Like, you're just there. Just watching? How is that cheating, though? Yeah. Like, you're just like at the bar, eating maybe wings. eating wings. Yeah, you're eating wings. <laughs> okay, so is it okay if a girl goes to look at some guy's dong? Never. Is he, not is, he, is she touching, is she touching, touching his dog? Is she dong? touching it? It's like right here though. <laughs> it's like whispering? Yeah, it's like almost telling <laughs> you, you a secret. You can feel the wind? What if, yeah. like, what, 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 the One earth could go away from like a smack call. <laughs> you can smell it. <laughs> a little tremble and it's going to give me a little kiss. I don't I don't know. I don't find the, I don't I don't know the, what, I've never been yeah, to a like, club. Yeah, like if your boyfriend is, let's just say it's a bachelor party and he's going but he's not getting lap dances. He's just Okay, there. but if it's a bachelor party, like that's with intention, you know, like you guys, you're with your homies. Yeah. Like if you're yeah. just Or what going, if it's a random night? this is what I think about strip clubs. Like if you're going with your homies to look at some ass, like in my mind, you're going to get a boner. And right? that's cheating. Getting and why are you getting cheap? boners around your homies? Like you guys are just going to sit there. Because <laughs> that's male bonding. Have you ever seen our podcast go, life? And then you want to go and tell girls, oh yeah, I have blue balls. But somehow you can go to the strip club and sit there for hours looking at an ass. Like, you know what I mean? You know what? Passing Gain days. a boner with your bros. That's male bonding right there. That's the best male bonding ever. Isn't Rhino like across the street? Like, let's go do an experiment. He's been looking at me. I just, I find it weird. Sorry. I find it weird though. Like if I were to, because our debate or argument was, what if you go with your girlfriend or wife? I was like, I find it weird being at the strip club and a girl's dancing in front of me like I'm not I can't grab her I can't do anything with but her but your girl can but, which is fucked up but like we're both there throwing money at the stripper I feel that's a waste of money you're that's getting, you can't getting cheated out of money you're getting cheated out of money yeah. like that too you guys are giving money to some randos when you could give it to no you know, we are girl. supporting we're her supporting. dreams so why can't your girl give you money ah. Ah. shake some ass yes, key. shake some ass you put the shake Uno some card. ass and titties on a pole Aaron pulled up the Uno car right now. The reason, <laughs> the reason we're Reverse, talking about baby. strippers is because we brought strippers to the Spotify studio. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, imagine. <laughs> Give imagine. a shout to the sound guys. Hey. <laughs> the sound guys are currently getting lap dances. Hey. Yeah, they're come in the they're they're going wild. Well. Good job, boys. Good job, Mike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Killing it, Mike. Killing, Killing it, Mike. Slap that ass, boy. Do you guys actually go though? Nah. I've never been nah, to a strip club. I, me either. I've never I'm been to a strip club in the U.S. I want to take him. I've never been to the U.S. I don't know if I've that's better or worse. I've been wanting us to get a group and take Cedar because he's never been to one I've ever. never been to a strip club. Why? You're not missing out. I don't feel like I don't, I just, Have you been? Wait, no. I, I don't feel like I feel like, like it's, it's just an that. experience every guy should just do. You been? Cool. Oh yeah. Aaron goes Come on, every man. week. I feel like Aaron pulls out Aaron. Remember that fucking Aaron pulls the right hand. Aaron's got the points on. The, he's got the card with the punch holes. <laughs> he's, not, he's, 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 he's a star that membership. Part, huh? star two left. This is away from a free one. <laughs> Aaron's always in the group chat on the weekends. What are plus? What are we doing? Strip club. Yeah, no one replies. He's at the strip club. No, yes, I have been, sir. Yes, I'm not afraid. Is it fun? Um, depends. What do you gain? It depends, bro. Just honestly, can you smack the cheeks at least? How do you decide you're gonna go? <laughs> I think it's just like an on spot. <laughs> you, you can't plan it. Okay. I feel like it, unless it's a bachelor party, right? You cannot plan it. It's just gotta be spontaneous. Mm. Like, what if what, like you're at the club and then you're like, "Fuck!" You leave early the club or you, you leave after the club. You're like, "What should we do?" Not yeah. what's open right now. I recently had a, I recently had a dream that I went to a strip club like probably like three days ago. That's a sign. I know, yeah. I've yeah, never crazy. been to one. And like I've I woke never been up. To one. Yeah, and I woke up and oh. I was like, I kinda wanna kinda wanna go now. It was like somewhere in San Bernardino. Not San Bernardino. The Dino. Dino. Oh, oh not the Dino. Dino. I was like, interesting. Kinda piqued my curiosity. There's no strip clubs in San Bernardino. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I live in San Bernardino. There's no strip clubs. You cannot see. There's no there's no strip club, but there's a <clears throat> There's a street. <laughs> There's a street that There's we're not going to talk about. <laughs> that's been talked about on our podcast so much. Yeah, that's the that's the huh? that's, yeah, yeah. that's that's it's street, bro. It's almost like yeah. full circle. You guys are talking about it on the hundredth episode. I know. Yeah. It's like yeah. So I know. Nice. It's still kind of hard to believe that we're doing the hundredth episode now. Like we've done this for a hundred times. A hundred times. A hundred times. And the hundredth time is at Spotify. Yeah. Like what are the what are the, the odds? The odds. Yeah. Oh, I wild. wanted to ask you guys. Like yeah. I know you guys post the old video from a year ago. Like just seeing you guys. Like how do you guys feel? Like damn, I was so young. Like nah, bro. I was like. Two years different, ago, bro. Yeah, really. oh, yeah. So, yeah. Two we years. Yeah, so I think different. we're about hitting two years. We're about to hit two years. Soon. Our two year anniversary is in March. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's crazy because I get I have oh, yeah, stories from like when him and I were like setting up like the first night we he's like let's go do it and I, we went like we're fucking like doing the, the mics and trying to figure it out mm. he's yeah. all mad because he couldn't figure it out I was at the strip yeah. club and then like <laughs> and then like the fucking like I was doing a lot of re- a lot of like looking up old videos and stuff to like show you guys and stuff today mm. and like you can just see like every video you click on it's just different. Different, Something's like, different. Studio. It's like the oh, studio's just changing like when you over, guys were and over, to figure and it out. over and over. That's what I tell people literally so cool. every single time. Because people always tell us how, like, how can I start a podcast? They always want everything perfect right away. Mm-hmm. Like it's not going to happen. Like if you look at our first episode, it's literally us on an office chair, on a like small a dining couch. table chair too. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and a dining table. Like my mom's dining table chair. She's out cooking in the back. Yeah, we use the camera, a phone, and then two th- phones. We actually. Oh look, full circle. This is the first camera we did yeah. our first episode. Oh, we oh. used the phone and that. This yeah, is it right here. This is that. that was what we started with. And look at us. We're at Spotify now with three hey. different cameras just pointing with, at with, us with cameras I never seen before. Both. And Mike, these look like like aliens. Yeah, I know. I was like, what are they? And then they're telling us that Joe Rogan like. Use this room. Use yeah, this guys. Room? He was here. He just left. <laughs> yeah, he we wanted to be on the podcast, podcast but we told him it was already oh, too many yeah, yeah. hours. I sniffed my seat to make sure it was good. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we saw. Yeah, Joe Rogan's been here. Yeah, we're like, you know what? Yeah, we're like, nah, like, we're actually full. Sorry. You Next know what's time. crazy? I didn't know he was on Fear Factor and I was like a diehard. Oh, yeah. Bro, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So I started rewatching it and I was like, dude, this show is so sick. Oh, and I totally forgot too. This is actually another huge announcement. If you guys are listening to us on Spotify, you can actually see our beautiful faces now. What? Because Spotify offers video podcasts now. What? So if you're not listening on Spotify, you're missing out on the Spotify set and our beautiful faces. Come mm-hmm. on, Apple Musicers. Yeah, yeah. So go to Spotify right now and listen and watch us. Yeah, you know use what? The, I, I'm, the done with, I'm done with <laughs> Apple Music. Dude, I actually left After Apple being music. here, after being in uh, Spotify, I think I'm done with Apple Music. Break your phone. Delete it right now so we can all Yeah, delete it right now. Delete it right now. <laughs> Let's chill. Let's relax. Delete all the music, you, bro. I have a Spotify account. You don't got a lot. Yeah, account? I do have a Spotify account. You don't got a lot. Everybody, 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 everybody kiss their ass. I have a Spotify account. Hey, Hans, 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 how does it feel to be like the most uh, recurring guest and now you're here on Spotify? Yeah, what is this, your yeah. fourth you, time? Honestly, whose who's podcast do you like being on the most? Be honest. Oh, shit. Whose podcast? Yeah. Who's podcast? Yeah. He's going to say his own. I, yeah, my, I was literally about to say my own. Really? I'm just kidding, bro. No, I mean, being on your guys' podcast for the first time was dope. 
Yeah, honestly, I mean, I, I never remember we're talking about like I never really got to uh, talk, oh, to, talk to Stephanie, Stephanie. like yeah. that mm-hmm. until that other day. Yeah, I just it was beef, but they squashed it. It was oh yeah yeah yeah. We it had was a good episode. I like that episode. Settled uh, settled beef. Yeah, it's my favorite. They invited me to. Oh yeah, you know this is your first time. That was the first time. I did like your episode, and I was nervous because Vanessa wasn't there. But and you know that episode did really good. I know. I was, was just mad at yeah. Rex for ditching my party last time. Oh, so, oh, no, was, no, no, no. Let's talk about why. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fake to friends. Have him on the epi- be on the episode with him because he yeah. hurt me. How so does really Rex every episode promote his DJ stuff? But when it comes to <laughs> like to pull yeah. when it comes to pulling fam. up for the fam. <laughs> He's like, actually, yeah, I let's talk about sweet. that, right? Let's and talk what happened? Fake, fake no, I remember I asked him, he's like, he's like, I have to go to Vanessa's, but honestly, bro, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that, bro. I didn't say that. Let me tell you guys what happened. I was throwing a friend a goodbye party because he's moving to San Fran, and my speaker was like a like a DJ speaker who had like busted out. It was like broken. So I was like, okay, I have to figure out the music. So I was originally going to go buy another big ass speaker. But then Rex offered, we didn't even ask, he offered to pull through <laughs> and to DJ. And we were like, bet, you know, we were excited. So all I had was a little JBL speaker, Bro. a little tiny one. <laughs> so that, and you know, know just for the meantime, yeah, backyard full of people just waiting for him to pull up. <laughs> he stopped replying to the text. He didn't Damn. even say like, oh my God, like I'm going to, like, I'm, I can't make it. I'm tired. Like nothing. And we just were there like... Damn. Passing the speaker. Yeah. Literally, wow. like, no. Dead ass. Dead ass. If someone got in front of the speaker, you couldn't hear anymore. You're like, hey, bro, <laughs> like, hey, move, 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 move. <laughs> or hold it above well, your head. You or know, something. I forgive you. I forgive Question, you. Question: Why forgive can you me. never play like local, bro? Why can't you ever play Peppas? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> uh, I swear. Uh, uh, I find yeah, it no. funny when he gets hot when we don't sometimes go to show. But like, bro, you be playing like in fucking Santa Ana or LA like on a fucking Tuesday. Like, exactly. yeah, I'm like, bro, I got it. work, hey, dog. Like, I made it. Yeah, it's where the money. LA. Don't get mad at us. We got work the next day, dog. I was show tonight. Your spot time's like at 1 a.m. I have a show tonight. Are you going? It's like yeah. it's no. like five blocks away. I'm down. I'm going on Saturday. I'll be it's there. a Saturday. For sure. No, but I told Vanessa, like, I'm going to give her one free pass, like one free ticket for me to DJ, like, for hours. Oh, hell yeah. Sick as It's because that day, like, I want to go film with my, I want to go help out my sister with her, like, photo booth thing. Yeah. And I was really tired, bro, because like I had to set up the photo booth. Remember you saw it, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. I had to set up well, the photo booth. It was like the nuts, heavy, bro. It's man's like, built, it's built, it's man's built Legos and said he was tired. Set up the ring, the ring light. <laughs> it was the ring light with the phone. That was the photo booth. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like, like, I'm tired. <laughs> And it was yeah. raining that day. I remember. It, yeah. it, was, it was like wow. there was a lot of obstacles. There was a lot of obstacles yeah. you had to overcome. Yeah. And then Caesar told me not to pull up. Yeah, I was like, don't pull up. She's already wet. She's wet. She's wet, bro. It's your fault. Rex texted us like, hey, is it is it popping? I was like, nah, bro. It's like no music. I wonder why there's no music, bro. Nah, but for sure, music makes a big ass deal at a party because like it was the same people we party with. But no music just changed the yeah. whole aspect it's of the like vibe. the vibe. And the DJs that have so much power to control your night. Yeah. For example, yeah. like I, I've seen Rex do this before. Like if you know, like you can explain them the best, but like if you see like two people dancing, you can dictate how their night ends. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. No, what? wait. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. do you mean? Yeah. Like talk, talk about, about it. it. Like, so one of the know... stories is like, you see me? <laughs> yeah, like it's always, it's, when you're DJing, it's always in the crowd. There's always one person that like is not that scared to dance. It, huh? That starts like, it, Oh yeah, fuck it. I'm here to get lit. But you you have to control that one person so other people could see like mm-hmm. oh shit the party's popping if that guy's dancing like fuck it I'm gonna join in ah. and after that once you control like five people bro like you you start controlling a whole crowd so when you when you're DJing you're kind of you're focusing on one person and making sure that person has a good night yeah and it attracts more yeah and it also matters like it's called BPM beats beats, beats per minute mm-hmm. and it controls like parts of your body so mm-hmm. the bass of every song like if you way. do one uh 128 it controls like parts of your body you're what's moving. the one that gets me horny 128 oh my god yeah they made a movie about 128 yeah. you're gonna you're dance like like yeah. all oh, out yeah. i learned that in a zach efron dude yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 that's how i explained it like it's the most easy yeah he like he like he like yeah also there's more girls dancing the more the party's gonna get started that's true yeah it's like the girls control girls control the party for sure not yeah, parties, I think, yeah, honestly, women, well, women run the world. I don't really think yet. so, honestly. Because sometimes, no, sometimes. Cause sometimes. N- I mean, <clears throat> except for your us. Because remember, at your party, it was just dudes dancing in the us. beginning, yeah. which was funny because it was just a bunch of dudes it's like grinding on dudes. each other and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we were grinding on each other, like we were there, just like yeah. 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 And then we were doing. I don't want to expose them. No, but like, if you notice grinding on, you notice if there's girls dancing, then everyone's gonna start dancing. Oh yeah. Because the guys gonna be like, alright, I'm gonna go on the dance floor and this and that, and it's like because once the girls start dancing, then everyone starts dancing. You think so? I think it's the opposite because when girls dance, guys usually just stand like on the wall. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Stand around. Wall so once grabbers. the guys start dancing, it's like, okay, now the party's really starting. Yeah, like, yeah, it's getting so everyone in the yeah, vibe right yeah, now. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's I agree because you can have a fun girls. party with just like dudes low key just dancing yeah. completely and you won't even trip. I yeah, because yeah. even when girls are just dancing and the guys are just kind of standing around, it feels awkward for Creepy, the girls. Yeah. yeah, you're like, okay. I'm yeah, just... they're kind of just dancing for these men. Yeah. On, on yeah. What? No. Yeah, yeah is, is that what it's going on? That's what it feels like. when like, I'm dancing sh- for yourself, not for the men. What are you talking about? But you it, know what's it, crazy to me? That like the same music has been playing since our parents' time. Like back then or like our, let's say like old school music, like T-Pain, uh, too short. It's, it's all it's all the same music <laughs> till this day, bro. Yeah. I think the only uh, only artist that's kind of different that you hear now is Bad Bunny and Parties. Uh-huh. Cause every every club you go to is always the same music. Too short. Dang. The old school two thousand music. Cause that shit YG. always. It's bangs, gonna be on. Bro. I know. I'm not. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm saying you know. So but that's like the same it, thing. The only difference that's in music now that you hear nowadays yeah. is like Bad Bunny. You know what's crazy? You know, yo, Bad Bunny like, is Latino, Latino music. Globalized yeah. more now. And Bad Bunny music's gonna be going on forever. Yeah. So now you're gonna hear that. The like your how do I explain this? Your kids, your kids are gonna be dancing with like uh, like girls with the same music that you're dancing to yeah. girls with. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Or Damn. or cool. your girl's gonna be dancing with some men to the same music. That's it. Excuse me. You, know, <laughs> you, guys, you, don't think, you guys don't think reggaeton will like die down a little bit? Like nah, how it did? Nah, I think it did for a bit. I think it, I think it already had that time. Like it yeah, already, already there, 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 there was that moment where reggaeton wasn't being played anymore. Yeah, yeah. at all. It's like, like, it was just the old, like it was literally just old Daddy Yankee music yeah, and like yeah. Yeah. We Sing Yandel and all that stuff. And we then finally, Yandel. they start making Spanish trap. They start making like Spanish trap started getting big and then reggaeton started getting big again. Yeah. Well, here, I know basically in like PR and Dominican Republic, it was still big. But like here, it was like, it was popping in the early 2000s. Like, that's all you heard yeah. at the clubs. And then the 2010s, it was like nothing. YG. No new yeah. artists. Yeah. Or like yeah. no new artists that we knew of. It was yeah. just like like local artists or like just artists that yeah. were kind of only had like small fan bases. Mm-hmm. Now, it's like the biggest thing. Yeah. Like I think world. it'll die down. Um, I just think that's the way music works. Because mm-hmm. yeah. like you said, like in the 2010s, it was mostly pop that was like mm-hmm. really huge. Yeah. And then now that reggaeton... Because I think reggaeton back then was a lot more... It wasn't as much for dancing. It was more so like kind of like rap, like mm-hmm. trap yeah, yeah. kind of style. Because mm-hmm. that's why I think none of the artists really, like Daddy Yankee, Don Omar, they made more music that you could play at clubs yeah. it, as opposed to like Tito El Bambino. I don't know if you guys yeah. know yeah. him. Like he yeah. didn't really make anything that would stick that you'd be like, oh, I could mm-hmm. play this at a party for mm-hmm. a long time. And I think Bad Bunny really did did really good at making sure that every one of his songs, no matter what, you can move to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In any kind yeah, of party, exactly. like if you need sad. something to dance. Yeah, yeah if you even need his sad music's sad. popping. Yeah. It's like I love his I sad st- music. I, yeah, I like <laughs> I his music, like his sad songs are supposed to be sad, but I'm over here like yeah, like yeah. Yeah. you're crying, you're crying, mama. but dancing. Like, yeah. at the same time. <laughs> you're just like I'm supposed to be sad right now with this song. Yeah. I'm all happy and shit. Yeah. Like yeah. what the fuck? You think, you think Bachata can make a comeback? Oh. Bachata used to be huge. That's what we're talking about. Remember we're talking about Bachata used to be huge. bro Show me. Teach me. Do it on top of the table right here. You don't know how to dance bachata. Nah, Rex, teach me real quick. Is there any really? step, style, step, hip, all the way? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the hip hop. Nah, bro. Get bro. The I want to dance simply. Like, like, I want to like, shh, shh, shh. You know? It's like, easy. It's all about your hips. I know. Yeah, I, yeah. I, bro. You ain't got no hips, boy. <laughs> it's all about front, back, side to side. Like, yeah. I can't I just, dance bachata because I, I don't know side, how to honestly. let dudes lead. Yeah. I never went like, well, I know what you're talking about. I just, yeah. Sounds like a lot to unpack here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that sounds, <laughs> let's talk about I this. No me gusta que me manden. Like, I would just, he'd be like, move feminist. this way. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm independent. I hate it. No, I'm I just don't know how to let my body, I guess, like. Is that loose or like too stiff? No, not loose. But like if he's allowed like, oh, spin controlled. this way, I'm like, oh, I don't want to spin. Yeah, 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 exactly. Allowed to be controlled by a man. I'm not submissive. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's a dominant boy. She's like, you turn around. You but spin. But it, it really is that because I feel like with dancing, especially with a partner, you have to, one has to lead. Yeah. 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 And obviously, yeah. And it's normally men, right? Exactly. Men have to I mean, I'll be like that. Upsies. Upsies. Tall women are the wave, bro. bro tall, tall women, women are grab the wave. Onto, like, I'm telling neck. you. Ima- bro, imagine Rex, like some girl, right? She's like five. 5'11", right? You grab her neck, she it's just not- kind of starts dancing and you just, your feet just ain't touching the floor no more. Yeah. 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 Instead of your knee between her, she has your knee, her knee between you. Yeah. you know? She spins and you guys like dancing, and just, and dancing banda like that. He shit, goes through that every around. day. Shut up. Is your wife taller than you? Yeah, yeah like an inch. an inch. An inch? I'm like 5'4", she's like 5'5". Five, five. <laughs> she calls Ray's little bro, huh? <laughs> What's up, little bro? Back in the head. What's up, little bro? You had it. You had it. You had it. Your yeah, ex I, was tall. I've dated. I've she dated. was tall. Uh, well, two ex. Yeah. 
Two X's she almost got drafted to the bro, fucking she Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> what about, hey, what about the tall. linebacker? She was like, five, oh, we don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, the linebacker was big. Ooh, was that, no, that, but she that's wasn't. Yeah, that's a moment. They, they, people, people love that moment. Yeah, Can actually, you? yeah. Since we're in the hundredth episode, let's like let's let's do <laughs> some <laughs> throwbacks. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys know this uh, this linebacker story of Hans? No. Let us oh, know. Let us know. Let's bring it back for the hundredth episode. So it's crazy because uh. <laughs> so okay so one time back then on my on my whole my whole era yeah. what's up guys before we continue with our 100th episode at spotify i think <laughs> we are going to shout out our day one sponsors manscape yeah. manscape you guys are definitely life changers you guys have uh from the beginning you guys have been with us and huge shout out to everyone at manscape big shout out so now it's time I to cue you. a dramatic sound because this is a public service announcement. Manscaped now has beard products and now a brand new nose and ear hair trimmer. Mm. If you haven't already heard, the leaders in below the waist grooming are traveling north of your South Pole with their revolutionary Beard Pro Hedger kit. Tell them. Plus, they've now launched their brand new Weed Whacker 2.0. Which confirms they have all the best tools for your hygiene toolbox. Time mm-hmm. for you to upgrade your toolbox by going to manscaped.com and using our code IE Friends for 20% <laughs> off plus free shipping. Honestly, guys, literally every man, like manly man that has a sick ass beard when they every come in. Every toxic man. Every toxic masculinity <laughs> man that comes into my house. I am I, the first thing I show them, I'm like, yo, you know I got the new Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro kit. You got that? Oh, you don't? That's crazy. <laughs> You know what I, I like to do? For you. Yeah. you know what I like to do? I like to like grab my manscape and then my friends come in. I'm like, yo, pull your pants down. And then I just, you know, trim it for them. And we're like, manscape. They're like, oh. they're like, bro, can I get one of these? Yeah, I'm gonna come yeah. around more often. I have to go to your house. <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, meet the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It's the ultimate package that makes it easier than ever to craft your signature look. Yeah. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This thing is an elite bra- a beard trimmer. Ooh. The Beard Hedger is tough on hair, but smooth on your face, mm. leading to singer stro- single stroke efficiency that brings satisfaction one stroke. One stroke. This waterproof cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. That's right. Mm-hmm. The Pro Kit also comes with a dermatologist-tested formulations for your post-trim care. This includes Manscaped's beard shampoo and conditioner, right. beard oil, and beard balm to moisturize, style, and shimmer your new beard. Wow. Plus, mm. the kit has three free gifts. Three. A beard brush, a comb, and scissors. With a nice beard, your face is perfectly groomed, right? Wrong. You need to keep an eye out for those tough to trim ear and nose hairs. Mm-hmm. Tell them, Queen. The brand new Weed Whacker 2.0 offers improved blades and skin safe technology with a no tugging guarantee. It's mm. never been so painless to mind your manholes. No tugging. Now that you have your face looking great, you must try Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0 for the full body grooming experience. All right. Good news. The Performance Package 4.0 now comes with the Weed Whacker 2.0 mm. and all of the other below the waist mm. grooming products Manscaped is known for. That's right. Your significant other will be delighted to see you covering all bases, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ooh la la. So get 20% off and free shipping with our code IE Friends at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use our code IE Friends. Always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. And now, back to the episode. So okay, so one time back then on my on my whole my whole era, yeah, you know I was on Tinder a lot, bro, Bumble, all these on a roll. all these apps. <laughs> <laughs> Did you high five me? Yeah, it wasn't. Right. I wasn't proud of it, bro. You were. But I'll give you the time. It was empty and sad. Was like, I was sad, on, bro. Boy. I was depressed every day. Everyone's like, I'm like, 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 drowning <laughs> myself and yeah. surrounding yourself by by people yeah. that can protect you, huh? Like linebackers. Yeah, bro. Like, wait, 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 let him finish. So the point is, I was on I was on Bumble, right? You guys know what Bumble is? A dating app. I was on there for the wrong reasons, not looking for any uh, relationships. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I was on this Bumble app and I matched with this girl and she was like, she was bad. Like I, I was like, oh my God, she bad. She's my type, little thick, little thick girl. I was my favorite. <laughs> Tell me why I was so excited. I cleaned my whole room. Like I, like I washed my bed sheets even though I washed them the day before. Washed them again. Started cleaning the ceiling. 
<laughs> like everything, everything. Um, vacuuming my my carpet, everything, everything. I even went to the gas station. I bought a blue rhino. Oh, That's how I, I was. I gotta be a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So down bad. Oh, I hell hundred percent. She's coming uh, to my house. She was already. She already. You know what I mean? No, I, no I, I, I didn't assume no, because she was like sending me stuff. Oh, okay, right? okay, we're okay, talking. Okay. We're, and I was talking that talk. I was like, oh, I got a hundred percent. You know, put in work. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go buy a blue rhino. Never popped one. My first time. So I popped it. I was nervous. I was like, oh my God. You're supposed, you're supposed to do it 30 minutes to an hour before. So I She's took on microdose. So I, took <laughs> minutes and I was like, all right, I'm excited for this. It's about to happen. Nervous and hard at the same time. Tell me why she guessed it, right? She texts me. She's like, hey, I'm outside. And I'm like, oh. Start doing push ups. <laughs> I got to look really strong for her. blood pumping. So she's like, I'm outside. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I have a back door to my, uh, yeah. to my room. So I open the door. She comes in my room. Well, she comes in through the door, and the first thing I see, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> what? She catfished me. <laughs> she was, like, that wasn't her in the pictures. It was a whole completely different person. And what? and I'm not even trying to, like, be, like, an asshole and, be like, body shame. No, I don't care if you're big. I love big girls. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But it's the fact that you lied. Like, you could have prepared me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, ready. Yeah, I would have. I would have had those extra push-ups. Yeah, yeah. you know. I could have bought better springs. But for like, my no, pills? Dude, I swear, pills? like she walked through my room, and I was like, "Damn!" Like she looked like like I, she looked like a linebacker for the for the Chiefs. <laughs> Why he say the Chiefs? Yeah. They won the hold Super Bowl. On, hold on. Did, Super Bowl. did you go through with it? Hey, I did. I had to go through with it. I was like, look, I'm not going to tell her like, hey, was like you lied to me. I'm not going to tell up. her about and her he, weight or anything. She didn't like seem nervous or like. No, hell no. <laughs> hell, she did. <laughs> as soon as she walked in, she seen me, she saw me start taking her clothes off. Shut she had lingerie oh, underneath she her clothes. Oh, she, uh, she be doing this way too often, homie. Nah, no, she did not look good. <laughs> but there's the thing. That she blue rhino was kicking in. It was <laughs> <laughs> so, like my heart was beating fast. Your, your eyes were blurry. Yeah, it, it was, was like really blurry. It was like, like bloodshot red. And I was like, damn. And she's like, well, I didn't, I didn't come here to play. Let's go. Oh. I was like, damn. She said. Two forty two. Two forty two. I was like, damn. Bro, she fucked you. No, like, yeah. You didn't fuck her. She <laughs> fucked you. Yeah, I didn't. She's picking you up. Dead <laughs> ass. And uh, she had you in missionary. She had my legs up. <laughs> She was giving you a halftime speech? No, I'm not gonna lie. Like she made you the sing boom. the national. Yeah. <laughs> she, she made me she pulled out her phone, we started going through a place again. <laughs> nah, but it was crazy. Like the blue rhino was not even working anymore. Damn. Oh, Damn. Uh, and uh what's funny was whatever I went through it, and I was like, all right, two minutes. That's all. Like, come on, Hans, quick. <laughs> I, I was selfish. I didn't even make her, you know, yeah, yeah. come or anything. So as soon as I was done, I was like, hey, <laughs> I was like, hey, you want water? Are you thirsty? I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, you better be ready for round two. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me why. I want to go get a water. <laughs> I want to go get a water. And I call Aaron. I was like, hey, bro, do me a favor, please. I was like, just call me back in like five minutes. And like with anything, just say you got a flat tire or something. like, And like, I have to go pick you up. I don't know, something. So I go back in the room. Within five minutes, he calls me. And I put it on speaker. Yeah, I don't you gotta know put it on speaker. I put it, on speaker, put it on speaker so she can hear that I wasn't lying. I'm yeah. stupid. I didn't think that through. But anyway, he called me. He's like, hey, bro, I got a flat tire. Like, I need like I need you to come help me. And I was trying to play it off. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of here with someone. You know, I don't know if I can. And I was like, oh, it's cool, bro. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to say that. Like, no, bro, never mind. It's cool. But, uh, but yeah, the point is I ended up telling her to go home and. And that was that. And I blocked it right away as soon as she walked out of my room. Oh my God. Does that make you feel yeah. empty? Yeah. Having like sex like that? Yeah. yeah. For a, a, a long time, it made me feel empty. Yeah. Like all, all my friends were like, damn, blessed, right? Like, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. No. I felt lonely. That was the most loneliest time of my life. Is that wild? We it's crazy. To, like we fucked the feelings away. Yeah. yeah. Weird. That's it's why weird. men can never cheat. I fucking hate. Shut what? your ass up. <laughs> Shut, <laughs> Shut your ass up. Bro, I've been I in relationships. I feel so lonely fucking these women. I've been what? in relationships. Bitch, relationship? not fucking no. no one. Fuck you. <laughs> no, it's true though. I, 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 agree, so I agree with Hansel. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, agree, I agree with him, bro. Because like, even on the drive back home, you're just like, Damn! Why? why? Like yeah. you're saying, like you look in the yeah. mirror. You're like, like you're, you're sitting yourself in the rear of hey. your mirror. You're like, you're in a hot just... shower like this, like, oh, yeah, fuck. yeah. <laughs> bro, you're like scrubbing you're the fuck like out of your dick. No, the, when she left, water. I had to hop in that shower, bro. I was, I, I put chloro on my shit. <laughs> you get I the sponge scope, from the I kitchen. You get the what's, what's the what's that scrub that has a smiley face? That's really the loser. Use code. I bro, but now like I've been in relationships and I've been single. And I felt the most loneliest when I was having 
bunch casual of bunch of sex. casual because they're just not her, you it's know. Just, or yeah. just not I feel, her, or yeah. I feel like you give yourself to someone regardless, even though you don't try to, you still kind of leave part of your soul in them. Well, You're like for yeah. what? Yeah, I agree with that. Day. And that's the thing. Like, sex is great. And it's intimate. But sex with sex when you're in love is amazing, bro. Let me see. Honestly. Still haven't. And that's 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 an amazing feeling. Honestly. I know. I can't. I, I always tell Saul that. I'm like, dude, like, I can't believe you've never fallen in love. I've never fell in love. It'll happen, really? lo- it'll happen low, bro. For real? <laughs> Hope yeah, it's romantic. Bro, happen to you. Are you, know, are you buying a heart shaped pizza for someone one time? Well, yeah. that's oh, why, yeah, that's why it's Bill and Eric. But he ate it with some random stranger. That's love. No, that's not love. That's me because I fucked up. I was being toxic and I felt bad. And I remember she told me her favorite pizza is Domino's. So, so you're just doing it. So I called her. I was like, hey, I, I bought you a Domino's pizza. Uh, I thought you actually like had something with her. Nah, I, that was the second time I. I only went out with her twice. Oh shit! Damn it, you were already fucking up. Yeah. Oh God, bro, what the fuck? Maybe <laughs> yeah, it's your dude. fault. <laughs> Am I the problem? Yeah, you're the problem. Then I, 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 I was toxic, but now I changed. What I, does that mean? I was just I was... like, um, I didn't care for people's feelings. Yeah, mm. I put my I put myself before everyone. Mm. It was I, wa- the, I wanted to ask you guys like, boy. how do you guys know you guys are in love? Like, how does that start? Like, cause you you know you're married and you've been like. Been how do you know, like, oh shit, I'm in love. Yeah, how do you know? How do you know? What's the moment that you know, like, oh shit, I'm in love yeah, with so you? Like, fuck. Yeah. You go um, first, Steph. You're married. What? Um, like, what was that one time with you? Well, I can pinpoint the time, but I think it was just when I realized that I'd rather be with the person than by myself because I do love being by myself. Mm-hmm. So me giving that up was was huge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So to be able to make that decision of like, okay. I love being, you know, on my own. I don't like people telling me what to do. And I'm going to kind of put some boundaries on that so I can make this person happy. Like, I guess the same thing. Like, putting the other person's happiness before yours. Have a compromise in a way. Yeah, yeah, You were more like, I want to see you every day. Like, fuck, I don't want to be alone right now. I want to be with you right now. Yeah, especially because um, Alex was very much, like, he was weird. He would text me. I know. He would be, we'd be like mid-conversation. He'd be like, all right, anyways, have a good day. Talk to you tomorrow. And we were already dating. So that to me was like, yeah. you don't want to talk to me all day? Nah, he knew it. Nah, he's playing <laughs> he chess. He knew what he yeah, was doing. I, I he was playing he chess. Would. This is why you're married. That's why you're married. He, he it was all the, part of his plot. Yep. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't do it in like a dickhead way. He was just more of like, I have stuff to do and mm-hmm. I can't talk right now. And like so you didn't want to. Yeah, yeah and I didn't want to be crazy because, you know, I yeah. you know, got to wait a little while to show people you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? You see? You see? Yeah, and I would wait and I would wait and I'd be like, man, should I text him? Like, should I not? And then so when we would spend time together, was really meaningful to me mm. and I was like oh I love this like I'd rather be doing this than be at like out drinking I mean I would still drink and stuff but <laughs> I mean I never stopped drinking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a time but I did it like I would obviously prefer to be with him than out yeah. drinking and mm. stuff that, no, I think yeah, that's how yeah. I figured that's it okay. out that's okay that's good what about you with this I don't know I what d- made you be like I'm gonna have a baby with this man <laughs> in um, accident um, <laughs> come in me I was, I was actually <laughs> I was actually have, I had a plan B in my purse but it didn't work um, no but I truly for my my falling in love experience was more of like how that what's that saying when like Cupid hits you with a an arrow for me it really was I feel like love at first sight I feel like it happens gradually <clears throat> or like all at once you just feel it when you meet someone and you mm-hmm. see them, there's like a spark. Mm-hmm. And I definitely feel like for me, it was just like, oh shit, there's a spark. Like we just started talking, we mm-hmm. danced, we vibed, we hit it off. And then I knew that something was different when it was time to go home, but me and him convinced everybody to go to Denny's afterwards so we could just keep talking. Uh, and then I was like, okay, we're both feeling it because we want to keep hanging out. We don't want the night to end. You know how yeah. much I hated going to Denny's? It was like 3 a.m., bro. <laughs> oh, you were with them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, I never, you, I would, were, you were there too. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't drive because I was young. They would drive me. That's funny. That's, that's what I told Saul yesterday. I was, I was like, I feel like you, you, you either know you like someone right away yeah. at the get go, or you don't. Like, yeah. there's no maybe. I could kind of maybe. I don't know. I disagree with that because I've 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 had friends. Well, at least like in high school, mm-hmm. not recently, but where they were just guy friends, and then over time, like maybe in the beginning, I can admit, oh, they're attractive. You know, maybe I didn't feel anything else. Just like, mm-hmm. oh, you can uh, you can acknowledge when a friend is good looking, yeah. mm-hmm. and then over time, I just started Thank feeling. You. Something you're like, oh shit! Like, Thank you. you know, I was gonna say everyone at this table. I acknowledge y'all. Yeah, everyone yeah. is all right. You know, she looks you that right. No, <laughs> no, she's she's like, 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 hey, like, hey, oh. he's a married man. I can't say too much about him. That's Gotta true. respect. But um, no, I feel you. I feel like yeah. it's, it's a, how, how did you know you were in love, Rex? Yeah. Oh, for real? I know. No, you're no, no, too. a joke. The first time I met my girl. First time. First time. When I saw her, I'm like, yeah, she's mine. 
She's you see, mine. I felt like, that. I'm going I'm to I'm be with her. Ha ha. Yeah. Ha, I should have told. Thanks to me. Thanks to him. Damn. Because I was kind of plotting on my girl because like it, 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 it came like a comp- <laughs> like people weren't telling me, nah, what yeah. the hell? Like you're not going to get her. And I'm like, what do you mean I'm not going to get her? Like I, I think she's cute. Yeah. Because he told me like, oh, you should hit her up. Like, you know, she's that. And then Mas- through girl, mutual Mas- friends, girl, like mm-hmm. they knew her, I knew them and all that. So when I first like talked to her, like met her in person, like. I really thought to myself, like, yeah, I'm in love. Like, I'm going to get with this girl. That's like, she's beautiful as fuck. Like, I'm going to be with this girl. But I'm now I'm here. I'm like, you I'm know, like, this warms my Grinch you, heart. I felt that. Though. I felt <laughs> yeah. that. I, I don't think, I think you know, but I remember, I know I would tell Kenny all the time. Shout out, Kenny. Shout out, Kenny. I, I always tell Kenny, I was like, bro, that girl, I'm going to marry her one day. I'm going to marry her. Yeah. You know, you remember me saying, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'll always be like, bro, I'm going to marry her. I'm not going to tell you. Say <laughs> it. Say it. Bro, it's a 100th episode. It's a 100th episode. We all have to share nah, our secret nah, today. Nah, not. Yeah, this is a, <laughs> nah. this is a no-no. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. Oh, man. But I remember I would, for like a good year, I'll be like, I'm going to marry her. Is she still it, in your life? Nah. Oh. Isn't that crazy that you <laughs> tell yourself that? Like, what the, why am I telling myself that? Yeah, exactly. That? That's fuck? why I was like, like, I just felt like I was going to marry her, but it just didn't happen. I'll be honest, like, I never, like, I had, a, I had girlfriends and whatever. I, I even dated, like, taller girls than my girl. I even dated, like, different, yeah. like, race <laughs> or whatever. Never felt that? I never gave a fuck about a girl. Not yeah. in the sense of me being an asshole. I just, I just didn't. Just I was young, you feel me? You future, really. You were just like, yeah. Oh, like, and I met my girl, like, what, like, uh, junior year? Mm. Oh, wow. And, and fuck, bro, I don't know what fucking hit me. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, so you've been with her since junior year? Yeah. Like, high school sque- sweethearts and wow. shit. But. I don't believe in high school I didn't, sweethearts. Ah, fuck. Honestly, me neither. I'm sorry. You guys I was haters. a saying, bro. Oh. I'm not saying that shit is true, but it's yeah. it's it's, it's true. It was tough, like you breaking up and all that time. shit. Yeah. Seen, I know two high school sweethearts. Oh, couple. Yeah, I know a couple. Yeah, from since See, freshman year. This is what and happened. Now they're married. I, I yeah, I have a friend who. Well, she's not my friend. This girl I know. Um, my bad. <laughs> oh, what's her name? She's. No. <laughs> it's the 100th episode. Actually, I know more than one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know more than one too. It's just the fact that I always would look at high school sweethearts and I'm like, dude, to find love that young, that's yeah, so yeah. beautiful. And you still don't even know yourself though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. I always find out that they're unfaithful and that mm. makes me sad because I'm like, then just break up and find your, like you said, like you don't know yourself mm-hmm. yet, so find mm. yourself yeah, and yeah. then get back together. But everyone's like, no, breaks don't exist. Me. I feel yeah. like for Could a breaks exist? high school sweetheart relationship to work, people have to know how to grow together and if they don't know how to grow individually and together, it's that's when it like falls to shit yeah. because you're never going to be the same person. Like even as like, how old, we're mean like what, 25 here? Yeah. We are. Like, 27? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so it's like, <laughs> it's you. if you think back to even when we are like 20, that's already like two, three years out of high school. Uh-huh. We're so different, exactly. yeah. you know, and, and, and that's going to keep happening. We're going to keep changing. We're going to keep growing. And you have to be able to grow together. Change. But you don't think like, cause, I mean, yeah, honestly, I'm envious of when people are like, oh, high school sweetheart, I'm like, damn, that's cool. That's yeah, nice. Yeah. But you don't think it's like too young? Because what if like at some point in the relationship down the line, yeah. someone's going to get like, curious yeah never had new so i never had this shit. i never had this i never had why that is it i think i think i think a girl it don't matter i feel I, like what about that's why i think i think no, they're right. sorry i think they're so rare because there's people that don't think that yeah oh yeah there's people is that there are just though? i feel like there is like that's my fear in my relationship because my my husband's only been with me like uh-huh. i'm his only girlfriend you think and I, I always think that. Are you sure? I think that, are you sure? I, are you sure, Losis? Yes. <laughs> Listen, I did my research. She did I the extensive one. I did the extensive everything. Well, no, but I do wonder I that. I'm like, what if down the line, yeah, yeah. he changes his mind? Mm. Like, that is a big fear. And I think that's why I, I'm not, like, a huge fan of high school sweethearts. I'm like, no, dude, like, break up. Like, go live your life. Go fe- go explore yeah. yourself. Explore other people. Yeah, and yeah. then, if you, for a fact, know that this is your person, then make it work. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what, what happened this, to me. Like, we, we broke up for two years. Ago. Oh, two years? Okay. Yeah, we broke that's up for two years. I had, a, I had a clean, like, fucking, yeah, fucking go find heart. myself and shit and her, mm-hmm. too, like, journey. Yeah, and yeah, then sure when we found each other back, like, this shit was tight. Actually, talking about dating, Aaron just did a dating game video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We brought, we brought in sir? five baddies. If you guys haven't seen the video, and go me. check it out. Uh, we got Aaron on a blind date. Went on a date with five baddies. A blind date. And uh, what do you think? What did you think of the whole experience? Yeah, how was that? Yeah, how was, was the whole experience? It was nerve wracking, man. You look good though. You look good. I All I want to say is you fucked up. <laughs> I, don't you. I don't know about you, you bro, but mm, Aaron took a dub at, after the show. Why I heard, were you I heard, I heard there was like a aftermath of that situation. Ooh. Who'd you go on a date with? Ooh. He said he said on his on his on his Instagram, nervous but excited. Ah. Oh <laughs> shit! So we're not we're not going to say anything. But did someone end up winning? Yeah. She. He said me, baby. 
I won. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you feel bad when you're eliminating people? How did that yeah. feel? Yeah. Thanks a lot, you dick, for that fucking twist. It's called entertainment. No, nah, yeah. fuck you. Show business. What did you show think the show was gonna be like? No, because I thought I was gonna be able to like ask questions to every contestant, but then he threw in the fucking swerve, yeah. as in, if you say yes to the first four. people, the first, first four. four, first three, first two, that last person is automatically eliminated, no matter what. You can't even ask him a that question was the at best all. Twist. So I was like, okay. So the first girl that comes up, <laughs> first girl that comes up. <laughs> oh. Oh. I loved her answer. That was my favorite one. What was her answer? What was her answer? Because her my question was, "What is your love language?" Ah, oh. and she said physical touch, and I was like, "Get her right in there, girl." And did you then, did you come up with the questions? Or you were just coming we up all with did. them. We all oh, did. Okay. Yeah. So uh, because we saw a lot of people saying, "Oh, it was rigged," or it was fucking. A setup. It wasn't rigged. It wasn't a. It wasn't a setup. It wasn't <laughs> rigged. This is how it happened. This is how we did everything. We got we got my questions, his questions, and then our producer Alondra, she got questions, and then we got questions from the crowd. I and friends from crowds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then while we're setting up, Alondra set up all the questions. She put them on a list, and then so everyone was going to get uh, the question based on who comes in first. For example, contestant one, she was the first one to get to the set, so mm -hmm. she was contestant one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. contestant four, she was already going to get uh, question number four because that's how it went. Oh, mm -hmm. So gotcha, it was gotcha, we're playing gotcha. off destiny and faith. Nice. Yeah, nice. it was very randomized. Like I didn't even know what was going on half the time. I, like, I didn't even fuck, halfway fuck? through the video. I you was lost, like, you lost. I was like, let's do something else. <laughs> <laughs> and we switched. It no, then when, when he couldn't decide, I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then and then and then that's when all it, with a clip. And then that, to figure it I was out. like, I was like. Yeah. I think it's a good a, a good idea though. I feel, I feel like uh, we should do that at least once a month. Yeah, like Vanessa's yeah. coming up videos. next. Oh, Vanessa, yeah. 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 Vanessa's gonna have a line out the Put door. Your Gentlemen, get ready. Send in Damn. your dick pics. Send it in. Nah, send <laughs> in your salaries, homies. Don't do that. Actually, <laughs> right. Salaries and credit scores. I actually think men sending dick pics is so weird to me. Like a man sending me a dick pic does nothing. I feel like dicks are like seven inches kind of, up, boys. Only, They're kind of weird. Seven inches in <laughs> I've, you know, I've got an unsolicited titty pictures. And you just don't want them, right? I just don't want them. I just right, but a uh, they're unneeded. Is always nice. A dick pic is not. Why? Always why? Nice. Why? Think, why? Because why? dicks why? are ugly. <laughs> like titties are nice. Like if you think about it, like they're like that. I agree. Cool. Like bro, I just it just I don't know. It's just I don't know. Maybe guys are able to just look, or maybe some girls too. But me personally, I am not able to look at a dick pic and be like, "Damn, this is hot!" Like, I'm so turned on. <laughs> you're, right you're, like, you're like, you're like, you're like, literally. <laughs> what, if you're, what if you're like, like I guess in love with the person, or your relationship with the I, person? Actually, one that's one of the things that I'm thinking back on. I dated a guy for three years, and he would do it constantly, all the fucking that's time. Weird. It's a love language. And I, <laughs> <laughs> my love language, language is and, sending dick pics. And I was <laughs> and I was way younger at the time, so I didn't know how yeah. to tell him. Like, mm. I don't really fuck with these pictures. Yeah. Like, I'm on first period, dude. Like, what am I gonna do with that? Yeah. You know. So, cause he he was already graduated, and I was still a senior. So, whoa, hey, yo, whoa, hey, yo, hey, yo, yeah. hey, yo, yo. Hey, I know. R. Kelly. Now that I think about it, yeah. it was a little sus. It was a little we're sus. We're not going to say names. He wasn't that much older. It's the 100th episode. Say the name. Say the name. Only, <laughs> he's only two years older than me. Whoa. But still. Whoa. Um, but still, like, it was just very odd. And then, like, it wasn't just pictures. It, he would also send videos on Snapchat, like, of actually, like, him doing uh, stuff to himself. All right. And I would be like, um. It's 8 a.m. It was just like, <laughs> what the nah, it was seven not in the it. Morning. <laughs> I think I got traumatized, actually. Well, that's why. Like that it. shit probably looked like a fucking, I don't know. Stop it laughing. I was about to eat imagine. breakfast with some dick on it. Like, what 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 I had to always be careful. She always had family. eggs on the side. Like, yeah. And you know why? Because he didn't use Manscaped. Ah. ah. Use code. I I.E. Friends. No, no, no. Use the code No, 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 no. Use code, use code bueno, bueno, bueno to get a 20% off plus. Huh? It's bueno. Just bueno. Sorry. Oh, bueno. Use your own code. Don't use that shit. Don't even know their own code. Use, use bueno, code guys. bueno to get a 20% no. off plus for shipping. Can we talk about that though? That what full if, circle moment? What if uh, I can imagine him what? that was his love language with dick pics and he just sends you one he's like I hope you have a lovely day my sweetheart <laughs> dick pic boom. That is some shit guys would say. <laughs> How the fuck are you being dead ass about that being a love language or just fucking No I'm fucking around like what if okay, that was, was him like he was sending you his yeah. dick pic but he was like giving you like a little like nice little language? message after. Uh, if I feel mm -hmm. like that's happened to me go to therapy sir. I've gotten dick pics. Really? Yeah I've gotten them too. I remember I take a good look 
<laughs> remember when girls used to just take photos <laughs> in the sink, like put their ass in the sink and go. Boop. You guys yeah, ever remember that? I always did that. Yeah. But to Why? Be fair, I always had big ass. It just looked nicer. Yeah. On the I used to think yeah. like, on the bro, sink? doesn't your you parents mean? use the restroom? Like you're like they're brushing well, their teeth. You have your whole ass, ass on there. <laughs> Rex oh. was. <laughs> Bro, the time I've seen the Rex, not like I'm in a bubble bath, bro. I swear, <laughs> bro. Rex has them nice cheeks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yo, Rex, my boy Rex has a dick. duck butt. He got oh, that yeah. Honduran booty. Oh, what? A duck butt. A what the hell's a duck butt? It's Rex's butt. It looks like he's arching his back all the time. Because everything's <laughs> dude. It's because like <laughs> us, like you know, um, when we like Facetime each other, like on the group thing. Oh, it was uh, always fucking a bubble bath. He's always in a bubble bath, guys. He expose us, bro. Bro, everyone knows you're always in a bubble bath. I feel like as a woman. You're, even though your man ain't doing shit, do not ever look at the group chat with his boys. Yeah. There but will be more dick pics there than anywhere else. That's so weird. That's not even true. That's not even true. That's not true. That's not true. We don't send There's more butt cheeks. We don't send that. Yeah, we don't send that. Yeah. I've seen yeah, a lot they, of only, they only show it on I've fucking FaceTime. Yeah, they only show it on FaceTime. You send a lot of what? I've seen a lot of foul shit in y'all group chat. Why have you seen our group chat? Because I used to date Hugo and we were together all the time. And I would see his phone. So. Yeah, I guess. I didn't know them back then, actually. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of such shit. But you know what? Nothing crazy, the... though. No, it's, people, nothing I feel nothing like... that I was like, oh. No, like, the crazy shit would happen when we FaceTime. I know, yeah, how, yeah. I know how you guys have played in our OEs. I yeah, mean, yeah. It was mostly funny to me. I was like, damn. Do you girls think that, like, like oh, group, men's group chats, like, they're just cheating, talking about girls? No. I think that's oh. the girls' group chat. I think the girls' group chat is worse than the guys. I feel like we'll go through our Me personally, our and personally in my group of girlfriends, I don't. We've never sat and be like, I wonder what a guy's group chat looks like. We've never asked. It's not a thing Nobody that cares. no girls. I feel like men care about group chats more than. No, I'm girls just bringing it up. No, we're just bringing it up because it's a topic. No, no, shut up, shut up. We don't give a fuck what you guys talk about. No, for real, it's like it's the same thing. Just how you guys don't think about girls' group chat, girls don't think about guys. But we're very similar. Your guys' chat is worse. Yeah, I feel like I feel like your guys' chat is worse. Do you I guys? Don't think so. Honestly, I don't think so. It's like an FBI you? Supportive and uplifting. <laughs> it's like a, FBI, it's like you guys a feminine energy. Do you love. guys like talk shit about like a girl? Like, oh, that bitch, blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> the whole chat goes crazy. Oh, hell yeah. Look, look. They, 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 yeah. Just, they just take the girl's name out. Like, I bitch, know my girl be doing you. that shit. I know. I know I'm 26, but if you're getting married or having a baby, that shit's going in the group chat, bro. I'm gonna be like, yo, like, look who's fucking yeah, like, yeah, gotta get pre- like, got pregnant or is gonna get married. I always <laughs> yeah. bring it up. I think our group like chat. I think our group chat. Someone yeah. says good morning. We're like, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're not. We're not. Positive. Ours is just talking know. shit or just sending funny shit, and then we just, or we just have the most random conversation, oh, like, like yeah, really yeah, bad roast. Like, like, like really yeah, bad the, roast. Oh, the roast. Remember the roast. Ro- Hunter, remember that roast? roast? The ex-girlfriend, ex-girlfriend roast. roast? Oh, I love that. Oh one. my, oh, my god. god. We don't talk about that. We roasted every single that. one of our ex-girlfriends. Oh my god, that's, that's so up. horrible. It so happened on the started about me. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Yeah. We started at, we started we with started with you, dude. Hans, dude, Hans <laughs> went we in all on know you. Vanessa. Let's get it. I believe it. Let's believe hop it in our two cents. Now. Hans, Hans lost though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I lost, but I brought it up in there. <laughs> now remember what we used to do? Oh yeah, that was nah, we we were, were the worst. most savage. Were they talking about like your most recent ex? Let's not get too specific. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't, we don't, we don't get too the specific. Episode, let's, talk, let's just name. Let's drop. talk about I bitches. Say, I loved her. I want to say that the Spotify. Let's studio. talk about bitches. Oh, we said it at the Spotify <gasps> studio. Let's yeah. talk about bitches. Say it together. Say it together. <laughs> one, one, two, go. Let's, let's talk about, about bitches. bitches. Okay, that was weird. not in sync. At That's because they got their own they got their whole little sidebar. And when you guys dropping the next song? The next song. Um, oh my god, that's so true. At Spotify Studios. At Spotify Studios. At Spotify Studios. Uh, We're actually Spotify? gonna record it right now, and Mike? just so we can say that we recorded Mike, at Spotify Studios. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. oh. Mike, we're gonna yeah. drop a song. You so. guys need another song this year. Another, another song. song? Yeah. I wanted to do a Christmas song last year. Mark Christmas. We did. If, if anything, we'll do a Christmas jingle. No, do reggaeton song. Yeah, nah, do reggaeton. Not like, we're not reggaetoneros. Like, it's, we're gonna. We, I, I don't want to try. You guys are not rappers either. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't carolers are. either. I know, but it's fun. Like the yeah, drill, yeah. like that shit was like the, the, it's stupid and fun. I feel like rapping is just like you, yeah, you know, reggaeton. You know, really like we ha- really have to try to make it good. I'm gonna be honest. Your song is good. Fuck yeah! I Thank actually you. like it. I was a, I was genuinely surprised. <laughs> yeah, I did not have hopes about being on. I like Caesar's verse. I did not have high hopes. Hashi, your girl, but she talked about C's. Yeah. She's sucking on his dick. While she's on D and D, you guys gotta sing a little. Yeah, let's go. Do a, a country, bit do of it. a country, do a country one. Country let's music. do an acapella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? One, two. I mean, I forgot Baby, about Baby, turn let's off and blast. <laughs> got a lot of types and they different. Different. Come country. from the south. Let's talk about bitches. <laughs> She come from the south. She Brazilian. 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 I forgot how it goes. Shout out to Camilo's Garden though. Yeah, shout out to Camilo's Garden. Yeah, he hooked us with the hook. He gave us a hook. I wanted to ask like, 
so the, you guys are on the hundred episode in. I think I've only seen Aaron and you like cry in the episode. I've never seen Caesar cry. Did I cry? You did you cry? Come on, man! You've Come on, like man! Three times. Let's, yeah. let's roll yeah, back the clip. I, I <laughs> see. I see. So cry. Yeah, I see. You, cry. No, you actually cried. Cry. Cry. I almost cried. Why did you cry? Was it about your dog? It was a dog. Yeah. The blanket. Yeah. That, that yeah, was like giving the blanket. Yeah. One of my favorite moments. Yeah, one of my favorite. Yeah, yeah. same yeah. for sure. Nah, yeah. yeah, that was. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry for almost crying. You fucking douchebag. I just have feelings. <laughs> what? You. No, he said you had cried. Yeah. No, but he said like, yeah, you've cried. That's what, no, three times. Because you, you, you disagreed. Cry. You you disagreed. disagreed. No, I was because I was like, I don't even remember. That's why. Yeah, we... And you haven't cried either. No, have he you, hasn't. Have you guys gotten emotional? Just on your off camera. Phone? Nah. You guys have I? Oh hell no, their shit's no, fucking. No, you haven't. I have, but I made so I will cut it out. Ah, uh, whack. Uh, You're whack. Uh, I just didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel like it was the right moment to yeah. open up about that. Uh, you know what? I have like a great question. Makes since sense. You know, we're all podcasters now. We're in, we've done 100th episode. You guys about to hit your 50. Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations. Yes, Thank Where you. are you guys at? Like, uh, 23? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, what are we on? We? 23, 23. I don't know. 20, 20, 20, 20. Wow, that's fast. Yeah. 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 Well, technically we, more because we've done other yeah. shows. Yeah. yeah, but we grew fast. Yeah, we grew really fast. Dude, I know you guys already passed us on IG. We didn't want to say it. It's okay, sis. It's because Ben is We went no, yeah. going through shit. Yeah. Yeah. So honestly, the fact that we're still here is... You know what? Like there was a moment planet? in time where I thought we were done. Cause do we started with I and uh, Munchies? Oh, or, I and Munchies. Oh, yeah. No, Carpool Eats. Oh, Carpool, Carpool, Carpool Eats. Eats yeah. I and Munchies, and then I and Foodie. And then there was that a moment in time when we're doing I and Foodie. I was like, damn, this is gonna, this is it. Honestly, I thought I and Foodie was uh, cause at that at I and Foodie we also had I and Movies. So we had, oh, I think yeah. we had four shows, four shows running, running at the same time, and I was doing all of it. Like I was doing all the mm-hmm. editing and all that stuff. And I was like, bro, this is fucking taking a toll. So now I started thinking, I was like, who am I going to eliminate? Mm-hmm. You guys want to hear like everything I had? I'm in Seoul. Like, I-, I can like, what he's thinking, I feel. It's weird. Yeah. Because whenever like it's something. Like that sounds yeah. like you said this. Remember, remember, remember you're deep inside <laughs> of, of, of Han? <laughs> <laughs> remember the other day? Remember you the other day? His knowledge from his dick. I told him, I told you, I was like, now nah, you have to let Saul think it on his own. You can give him the idea. And it might be a great idea, but he's gonna be like, nah. <laughs> so he, 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 he let him sit on fucking it. time. Yeah. That was yeah. a good nah. That was exactly how Sal nah. says nah. 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 No, dead ass bro. Like, so. If you guys want to get in, <laughs> no, in Sal's yeah. head. No, spill the tea, Sal. What was your thought process on the shows? On the shows? Mm-hmm. So, then he was going to eliminate us and movies. So we had, we had, at one time, I was like, okay, this is, this is going on too crazy, right? So we had, I'm going to tell you the ladder of how it is. I and Friends was not going anywhere. That was I and Friends was staying. No, right. but now I had IE and besties, IE and movies, and IE and foodie. Mm. And honestly, all of them were at a level edge. Yeah, we where I'm were, like, one of them's got to go. We were all going through it. Yeah, everyone was going, like, everyone yeah. was going through like it. So American like American Idol. Let's yeah, it was it. literally American Idol. I was like, I'm going to end one of these shows. But then I was like, which one? And like, it wasn't like a hard, like, I mean, I, I mean, it was a hard decision because all of them were just like, like, just going back and forth, right? And I saw IE and movies, like, they're fucking. They 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 did they're doing amazing right they all love what they're doing, um I am besties was doing great but then it was just a lot of like tension just a lot of internal stuff, mm-hmm. and then I am foodie was just way too fucking expensive hell yeah we're hell doing like yeah. 90, 90 to one hundred twenty dollars an episode damn yeah. why are you ordering the combos yeah. though yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Why> <laughs> ordering the drink I would ask for some water so then I started thinking I was like got think business wise so I was like I am foodie's probably going to be gone mm-hmm. but. I just like, the like dynamic. the dynamic with me and Hans is just like, like we we have like a sick ass, like back and forth. Just and then also already, bro. Oh, I was just eating. Jealous. I was there for you. Like, just and then Rex, food. and then Rex started the killing it as well. <laughs> so I was like, I knew I still wanted to keep them. Mm-hmm. I was like, I still want to keep them. And then I am movies. It just started turning like a like a podcast as well. Like I am movies. I would love to do it again. That everyone always asks for I am movies. I definitely want to do I am movies again. But that's when we have our own sets. Because yeah. I don't like the shows. Because now we had four shows looking the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, so that was tough. You know what? I'm, just to th- throw it out there. I feel like I and Movie. Because right now, every we're all growing as a team big. Yeah. And I yeah. feel like I and Movie should come back. But when we have more uh, resources. More resources. Yeah, so yeah. like I and Movies can come back. And you can have more of a pool. So you can bring in like yeah. guests from like. For TV show, yeah, because that was the plan. Sure. That's the plan with That'd I movies, dope. like bringing take, actors and bringing take them to premieres and, and stuff, yeah, bro. and take them to premieres. That yeah. was literally the whole go fire yeah. movies. 
Yeah. But uh, it's tough. Yeah. I, I like it. I think we're a good team. Like, I think, we're at yeah, the level. For sure. I never really compared because we're all together. Like, we're yeah, exactly. the same yeah. company, no, literally bro. literally same. Yeah. Like, y'all yeah. went in, I'm winning. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And shout out to everyone in the IE, to be honest, because right now I, we're noticing like a huge, like, like, like burst and like a spike in like creative mm-hmm. talents coming from the IE in yeah. the social media game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We and, need uh, guests and we're like, where are you guys coming from? Like, Corona? We're like, yeah. what? Shout out really? to all the IE podcasts. Yeah. I want to mention you guys in the Spotify studio. Yeah. Shout, Shout out to Spotify the Kickback Crew, uh, La Familia, Ponte Las Pilas, IE and Friends, Todo Chido. Oh, but they're from LA. But... Oh, they're from my, but shout out to but them. They're but they're your friends. Shout out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just everyone IE. Because like, I've been like, because I'm not going to lie, like I have like, where I like, I don't want to be like, like, like fighting with people. I don't want to have like, weird beefs with people and mm-hmm. i hate that they try to do that on the internet where like oh yeah. who's better yeah i hate throw little comparing. jabs, yeah, I hate yeah. Throw little jabs. Yeah. it's like the insecurities jumping yeah. out because like, cool. like it Sorry. just like yeah. recently started happening with like mm-hmm. like another podcast that's been throwing jabs at us and it sure. it's sucks because like we're like fucking chilling we're latinos we're trying to make it we're all trying to do this shit yeah so like i've always heard people talk shit like Oh, like it's it always be your own, right? Yeah. And no I facts, never really like but... saw it until now, and it just got me so like disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I feel like, like it's not even mad, huh? Yeah, it's just like why? yeah, it's like why? Why? Yeah. And then, so I just don't like that feeling. So like, I literally just want to like, like literally like I'm gonna start in the IE like every IE podcast. I'm gonna say now I fuck with all of you guys. I hope there's no like weird beef, no nothing. Yeah. Um, except with this one right there. Except for bueno bueno yeah, bueno bueno yeah. fuck with bueno bueno. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's just how I feel. Like it's, it's, it right sucks there. that we all gotta like, like why are we competing to be the podcast? Right? Yeah, why can't we? Like there's room for everybody. Yeah. Exactly. Like why do people gotta burn bridges? Like yeah. there's opportunities exactly. like for I, the future. In the yeah, Spotify exactly. studio here in Los Angeles, they have a bunch of other rooms. You know? We all can <laughs> dead ass, and they're all empty. For and they're all empty. at the same time. We can all be here at the exact yeah, same time. Yeah, we can time. all be here at the same time. We love you, Mike. Eat. Yeah. Shout out, Mike. Yeah. So I know this is uh, my goal moving forward is just to like, just like lift everyone up. Even though like I, I some people like that's it's it's hard. Mm-hmm. But uh, I really want to because no, for I mean, sure we can fucking yeah, we can do this shit we together. Do this shit I mean, together. So we and it's even I mean, easier bro, together. There's room for everybody. Yeah, there really is. Yeah, you know, you know what? I feel like you can't really win if you Dragging do it. Down bringing people down along the way yeah. eventually your karma's gonna catch up to you and it's like yeah. spread love positivity and good things will come to we're you we're all in this yeah. together it's not, and it's honestly lazy. I wanted to mention too that I think it helps that you're so welcoming cause I feel like it's intimidating especially you know cause your podcast does so well huh. for others to be like okay well to get at that level I have to make sure that they don't progress from there like, no. and you mm. do such a good job at kind of um, inviting people in yeah. with you like you I've never heard you be like no I won't do a collab with this person you're always so open to work with anybody and I think that's so dope yeah that's yeah. a rare trait to have no that's a, that's like a huge shout out I've always noticed that yeah. like he doesn't gatekeep anything he only gatekeep gatekept one thing and anything. it wasn't even important I, will, I don't remember what it was it was like it was like the dumbest thing ever it was like where do you buy this but it wasn't even for the podcast but like mm-hmm. if you ask him for anything for help for like podcasts how to do something yeah that man's yeah. right there like he doesn't gatekeep yeah. anything and I think that's why it's like are you hating if yeah. we're not exactly. we're not, yeah. we're not doing that's, what, that's why I think it pisses me off more because like literally anybody can ask me a question anybody can ask me for help and I'll do it ASAP. so yeah. when people like like just talk shit on like me or my friends and stuff we're building that one really gets me mm-hmm. like yeah. you yeah. can talk shit about me but like if you talk shit about like what I'm building I'm like bro how are you talking shit about that like I'm literally if you the person same person that's talking shit if you would ask me for help, I would have helped you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, What's and that, that's track? what I appreciate about him because exactly. you know my girl, she has her own podcast and everything. Oh, yeah. Shout she out, what's her? What's her? Uh, good uh, company. In good, in, company. In good company. company. Shout so, out, in good company. So like, I, I mean, I, it don't matter how it is or everything. Like he really like lends you a hand and yeah. everything. And this, uh, this past weekend, I was looking at because he bought me a Mac Mini to edit, mm-hmm. and I was looking like, damn, I look, he wanted to cry because like, <laughs> he's. Giving me another ahead, help to like produce and edit <laughs> yeah. yeah, for my right. career because like and for he your knows family, that I'm you know, for your wife, it's just, that help is extended to your wife too, yeah. you know, yeah. for her to grow. Yeah. So wherever no, we bro, go, shout out to you. We boss. appreciate Saul. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Saul. We out here in Spotify. Shout out to Saul. Yeah, he has flowers. <laughs> and I just want to, I mean, I kind of do it just to like show everyone that it is possible because, yeah. yeah, I mean, if you look at our first episode, <laughs> we'll do it, we'll put a comparison right it's now and then now. We're here at Spotify. And it all started like in a living room. And the crazy thing is that you've been at this for a long time. And I feel like that's a true testament of when you truly love something and you just be committed and go for it and just 
do it not with an expectation of what the outcome is going to be. You know, of course, there's a lot of opportunities that come with, you know, having a social media presence and mm. those opportunities are going to be amazing. But if you just do it with love and just do it because it's yes. fun, it's because what you want to do, the opportunities will come. You know, you've been doing YouTube for like yeah, for forever. Time, yeah. Like that we met you doing yeah, YouTube yeah, videos, yeah. Lo- doing skits and you write um what do you you're doing like little films mm-hmm. and you do all of these things now you're doing comedian work yeah, like you're just venturing and you're just doing the damn thing and mm-hmm. we're proud of you you're yeah, an inspiration to all of us yeah for sure and um F the haters keep going haters. <laughs> keep going guys he's about to crack yeah, keep going, no. <laughs> keep going. Yeah. so that's we actually why. have your mom on the phone right now she wants to give some words <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why I always tell Saul, I was like, bro, like, I know I don't I don't say it much because we're, I mean, as guys, it's kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah. But I always like, always look up to Saul because yeah. I met him doing YouTube videos mm-hmm. and, you know, thanks Saul to Carlos because he introduced us. But I feel like everyone's time is going to come yeah. eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've learned that like the hard way. I, as I'm getting older, I'm realizing like, damn, like if I would have done it back then and if I would have failed, I would have just gave up. Mm-hmm. But I think now if I try and I fail, I'm still keep going because mm-hmm. I'm growing now in my head, like, you mm-hmm. know, as a person. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. Every, everyone has a moment of truth and I really appreciate you guys because yeah. you guys have a cool ass dynamic because you know like you know how it's all started with the blueprint and everything yeah, and yeah. I told Hans I'm like bro I'm glad everything worked out the way it worked because mm-hmm. like if we would have started oh, this and that like a lot of things in our life it wasn't our time yeah, for exactly. our podcast yeah. you exactly. get me yeah everyone's got so, their time so everyone's you guys like yeah. you guys were a good dynamic in the beginning yeah. bro thank you and I really yeah, see that I actually shit. do want to talk about how that came a lot like a lot and I don't know if some of you guys know but I and Friends was supposed to be, Bueno Bueno was supposed to be first. What's up, friends? Before we continue, we got a little pop quiz. And you know from who? From our friends at Yo Sabo. This next segment is sponsored by Yo Sabo The Game. So make sure to check them out on all social media platforms under Yo Sabo The Game and also online at YoSaboTheGame.com. Yo Sabo The Game is the new card game for your next game night. It started off as a way to remember some tricky Spanish words, but it has evolved into a way to reconnect to your childhood and share some funny memories with your friends. Do not worry, you can still win the game by answering Latino trivia or by winning the challenge on the chancla cards. So make your favorite drink or pour some shots and get ready for a game night. Tu sabes. So let's play. And today is pop quiz. I'm quizzing you guys at home. Let me know in the comments how much you get right. I'm gonna give you guys three questions and let's see if you guys can get three for three. Let's see if you really are a no sabo or yo sabo. We'll find out right now. We'll start off with, mm, we'll start off a little easy. I'll give you 10 seconds. Como se dice? Belt. Come on, this one's easy. You don't got this, man, come on. Doot, doot, doot. It's cinturon. Did you get that right? Did you? Let me know. Next one. Let's step it up a little bit. Como se dice betray? Like you betrayed a friend. You got betrayed. Como se dice betray? Dun, 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 dun. Give you five more seconds. You ready? Traicionar. Did you get that? That one was a tough one. Did you get that? Our last one. Let's do a different type of card. What is usually found in 10 cookie boxes? Come on. This one's easy. What is found in them? Three, two, one. A sewing kit. And there's that segment from Yo Sabo. Let me know down below how many of those did you get right? Thank you to Yo Sabo for sponsoring this episode and for sponsoring the whole month. Uh, we love you guys. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot. And now it's time to get back to our hundredth episode. A good dynamic in the beginning, yeah. bro. Thank you. And I yeah, really see that. I actually shit. do want to talk about how that came a lot, like a lot. And I don't know if some of you guys know, but I and Friends was supposed to be Bueno Bueno was supposed to be first. Like they they pitched me the idea mm-hmm. of Bueno Bueno, like probably a year before. I and friends even started. Yeah, <laughs> and I was like, bro, like no one listens to podcasts. No, so yeah, I told, I, I told, yeah. I told, I brought it to Saul. I was like, hey, bro, we should like, you should make a podcast. He's like, nah. <laughs> He's like, nah. No one listens nah. to podcasts, and no I was like, all right. right. And then and then I think I had mentioned it maybe a couple months later. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, oh, yeah. And then that was oh, you can tell the rest. Yeah, that was yeah. He mentioned it a couple months later, and I was like, yeah, I guess I can kind of see it, but I wasn't like fully into it. But I was like, if they make it happen, if they. If they bring it up, I was like, okay, fuck it, yeah, we'll do it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, yeah, I wasn't too convinced. And then I started listening to podcasts. And then just one day, just randomly clicked. It's just like, yo, I got to start a podcast. But then 
I was like, I felt, I felt weird, right? So it's one thing when, when making a show, when you want to do something, don't just be a people pleaser, right? Mm. You want to look, you want to choose what's, what's, what's going to work. So obviously I felt bad because I had an idea for a podcast, mm-hmm. but then I felt like right now for Rex and Hans, like they're not, it's not the right time for them. Mm-hmm. And like, I need fucking, I, I need, I need to get this ball rolling. Yeah, I got to fucking commitment. keep it going. Mm-hmm. Right. So I, I started thinking about people. And it was just honestly it instantly clicked. Like I was like, Caesar, Aaron, right away. So Caesar, this dude, bro, like this dude is like dead ass. OGs had my back since freshman year when I was like a fucking dweeb. The sniper in the comments. When he was, when he was fucking making sniper content. Yeah, when I would make fun of him. When I was making like cringy ass YouTube videos, like he was supporting me. I'd watch him. Yeah, he watched him. Like he'd support, like he'd be in the comments talking shit to all the haters. <laughs> like, I was saying the sniper in the comments. Yeah, he's literally been there since <laughs> yeah. day one. So I was like, like anything Caesar for sure. I know Caesar's there. And then I honestly I tell this to everyone, and I know other people like can see it, but like Aaron, you have something so special in you. And like when I like I, I cause I remember when uh we started doing skits. Mm-hmm. First thing I was like, let's get Aaron. I feel like he can. Yeah, he's got something. And I was and like, yeah, like great. He's, yeah, yeah. And I was like, let's get him yeah. in. He did great on our first, like on our first acting video. He doesn't. He's never acted. He fucking yeah, killed it. And he killed it. And then the second time he killed it again. Yeah. And then just everybody. Like if you're in a like a weird situation and you feel awkward, you bring Aaron and he just lights up the room. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah. he's got something. So I was like, I feel like Caesar and Aaron will be a great ass podcast dynamic, and that's how that worked out. Mm-hmm. Remember the second episode, Aaron and I were like, oh, we really have to go. Did us, bro? After the first episode, we're just like, and he's like, yes, come on. It, it looked like we had like views, and he was like, dude, people are watching <clears throat> us. He's like, even if it's two people watching yeah. you, like you got to show up for those two people. Mm-hmm. And I think that kind of just stuck in my head after that forever, and I was yeah. like. At the end of the day, like 20 people watch us. That's 20 yes. individual people taking two hours out of their day, one yeah. hour out of their day. Exactly. Just to listen yeah. to my voice. And uh, like, like, that's crazy. A Chuck E. I'll, Cheese I'll, capacity I'll, is 140. <laughs> yeah. So, I was actually pretty excited to come back because I remember we, we were basically replaced by the second episode. Yeah, yeah. Oh, second yeah. episode got replaced, <laughs> Bro, literally by, got replaced. By, by Hugo, Sin, and Stacey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was going to do it where his plan was. It was going to be him. He was going to have different guests yeah. every single time. Pretty much he switched up one plan to another plan. Yeah. And then that plan just and that's for what some I'm, reason did not work. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, bro, like you it's never nothing's ever perfect at the beginning. Just do it. Yeah. And see yeah. what the fuck happens. You know? I guess it worked out because that episode you did with them, it just the whole was it the no, audio? No, Mike, huh? no audio. No, what happened was um it, it was corrupted. when I was new. I, I just barely bought that 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 device mm. and I put batteries in it and the batteries died while filming. And I was like, it's fucking So they sucks. recorded a whole hour and a half and nothing basically yeah. was there. And it was all gone. Damn. Sorry, I though. love the episode where your camera wasn't on and they oh god, yes. that, <laughs> was that, that was hilarious. That was my so that was my Instagram episode picture 52. for so long. <laughs> Who drew that? I did. <laughs> he, did, he, did. <laughs> he did so good. I do that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll come. Let's let's talk about how I brought everyone into like the like how I started the besties and stuff. Yeah, let's, let's how did you guys besties. feel? Yeah. Like yeah, you how, two, like oh god, wake up, sis. I know, I know. I need a shot. I need a shot. You need a shot. Um, well, I mean, I've known you yeah. for a long time. That's how I started because, like, when we'll get drunk, it would just start, like, deep-ass conversations <laughs> yeah, about stuff. Yeah, And then so when I was thinking about, like, a, a girl podcast, I was like, Vanessa for sure has deep conversations. Mm-hmm. Like, Shout out to the can... comments, though, too, because they're always, like, saying, like, oh, we want more women guests yeah, yeah. on our show. So that's how we that's how we. And then you're like, why don't, just we, why don't I just start a yeah. female-led uh, female uh, podcast? And then who else be a better co-host than the, a female boss? So at the oh, time, yeah, at the time I had a food truck. Yeah, at the time you had an amazing food truck, mm-hmm. and yeah. honestly, literally awesome. every Sunday, even so now I still think last Sunday I was like craving the tacos going out. I was yeah, going to text you, bring just it back, fun. bring it back. But I'm trying. It's hard. Yeah, I it's bet. hard to find. We workers. will support. Yeah, no, but yeah, Stephanie's a girl boss, and I know she'd be like perfect for like a girl podcast. Like she can definitely bring in like the perspective, the feminist perspective. And <laughs> it's great. That's not. I'm not saying it in a bad way. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's just I feel like lately. No one describes me without saying feminist. Not that it's a bad thing. I, I say I hater. Offense. I don't care. No, hater I just think, I, am what I, am. I think we all. I think we all have a, a special thing about <laughs> yeah, us. I think you know? we all have our like you. Thing. You. You have a very um good personality. Like you it's like strong. Like you're not. Strong. You're not afraid to speak your yeah, mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know it depends. I, mean? I think and you conversate with everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. You're a, yeah. You're a good yeah. people person. It was hard though because um when we started the podcast, I think for a long time we were kind of like. We're gonna quit. This isn't gonna work. Yeah. I don't want to go today. Uh-huh. And I think it was though because none of my friends were supportive. Yeah. So it was hard 
Because obviously, you know, like your comment you said where you want to appeal to the people that are watching mm -hmm. you, but you also really crave that validation from the people you care about. Yeah. So when they don't give that to you, you think you're doing something wrong or you are you start to be like, oh, well, this is stupid. Why am I even doing it? Mm -hmm. And you kind of, I at least me, I definitely got influenced by that. And I wouldn't really promote it like on my Instagram or mm -hmm. I wouldn't really tell when people would be like, you're from the podcast. I'd be like, no, I'm not. Like, that's my sister. Wrong girl. Yeah, I'd be like, no, that's not me. And I, I hate that I would do that. Yeah. And even yesterday I went to the store and one of the, uh, the cashiers was like oh my friend watches you and um, Alex was I guess waiting for me to be like oh and I was like oh thank you like cool. I'm trying to get out of that yeah, mentality of yeah. you know this is dumb because I do love it and I would always be like no I don't want to do it and I'm like then if I don't want to do it then why do I keep yeah. going toxic yeah you know? <laughs> toxic, toxic. Toxic. Yeah, toxic relationship with the yeah. podcast and you know what like Rex has been doing way better on that because I know at first he was kind of shy yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Rex improved really because I remember I told remember I told you I was like I think we should bring in Rex for the foodie because uh -huh. it, it was just me and so at first yeah. mm -hmm. and I was like I think we should bring in Rex like he has something but like we need to break him out of yeah, it because yeah. he's funny yeah he's funny like in person like people that don't know him like off, off the camera I mean even on the camera he's now, funny now they yeah. see but there he's funny yeah. you know what I mean so I was like I think we should bring Rex <clears throat> he's someone you can mock and I don't mean mock in a bad way I mean mock is because he says something <laughs> he's got thick skin he's got thick no, skin no, he's, no, got he's got that like, dirty he, thick no, he's skin got that, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's got that like those sayings where you just mock yeah, Cause he just brings out nowhere. Like, uh, <laughs> like, I know people watching like, oh, you guys are you're mean to him. Like, nah, I love Rex, but yeah. that's just our bond. That's how we bond. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I, I love you guys and I love all you guys, and I feel like we're all different. We're not all the same. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. we're For funny. Sure. We're this. We're that. Yeah. We're mean. We're dicks. We're asshole. Yeah. Like we're all like in a bunch, and and like I really love Baby you guys because even my sister like she's a big fan of you guys and she oh. says like, oh, I like Vanessa because she says this, and sometimes like when I listen to Stephanie like. I really like how what she said today. Like, it, you know, you yeah, every, you learn, you're, you're learning guys, every episode. Mm -hmm. But every fan is like, they, they like different things. They yeah. see different things. Yeah. Different. They, they Based bond on their to you, own you know? experiences yeah. and everything. They're gonna like my sister likes you because she feels that you remind her of like old friends that she used to have, like old mm -hmm. homegirls. Like, oh, oh, that's how my homegirl talks. That's how she nostalgia. is. Nostalgia. <laughs> <You know? laughs> So, no, you yeah. definitely do do that. You're you're just so easy to talk to. Honestly, like I've never felt where I was like. Yeah. Like that's gonna be quiet today yeah. on set, like, yeah. and I hate that feeling where you're like, okay, now what do we talk about? You make me feel safe and warm. And the, yeah. <laughs> no, that has Vanessa has a way of like pulling things out of you too without yeah. like, like, like when I was on the episode, I was like, how the fuck did you get this out of yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just yeah. like, exactly. I, you, like your your podcast, it just makes you feel like comfortable, just like yeah, you guys definitely like have on a my war, podcast. Yeah. I'm just like, I, I feel safe, ready, ready, ready to shoot. Yeah. He was turning to a bestie right now. He was like, get me things like, out of me. Like, <laughs> like, he was doing. He was turning to a bestie right now. I just yeah. so no, and I definitely think that Steph and I have talked about you know what we want to bring yeah. a value to our viewers and to the guests, and we just want people to feel like it's a vulnerable, safe space mm -hmm. where we can fuck around one moment and we can cry the next. Yeah. and yeah. we could just be open and mm -hmm. be all over the place and I feel like we've done a good job and I'm proud of us and I know and thank you guys too. for acknowledging that too of course thank you and it's cool yeah, how we, like, see we, we all see kind it. of we all like see it. we all have like that same energy because like in every show like we'll get very serious we'll get very yeah. deep maybe we'll cry we'll get mad we'll get yeah. angry we'll do all this yeah. and like I see that in every show and it's crazy how we all do it yeah. so it's just mm -hmm. like it's like we fucking we just know like that. we got put in by the universe mm -hmm. do yeah. you guys um <clears throat> Because I know you guys connect a little bit more with the fans on your guys' show. Do you yeah. guys feel like that? Um, has there been a situation where you guys really, really like go get into something deep with a fan? I, oh, you, uh, I think yeah. I think a lot of fans have like told a lot of stories of them getting cheated on. Oh yeah, and I, I feel like cheated. we. I mean, we get really, a lot. Really compared to that shit, we try to help them out yeah. at least as we can. Shout you know? out to all the yeah. fuckers. Well, I've had, I've no. had. <laughs> Shout out to the <laughs> fuckers. Yeah, 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 we we got we're the ones with the cheaters. Oh, yeah. Our we podcast creates your viewers yeah. because they cheat. That's scandal. What would you guys do if your Thea fucked your significant other? Damn. Damn. Well, fuck. Wait, wait, wait. No, your it doesn't make sense. My your Thea or your Thea? My, my, hey, my Thea's got a way, so I don't hey, know. Bro. She might be like, what's up? Damn, I don't know, bro. That's, heavy. That's a tough one. That's heavy, bro. But, it, but it, isn't it crazy how, like, we... We like our fans really fuck with us heavy, and they yeah. they kind of look at us like, oh, like I feel like he's my homie. Yeah, yeah that's that's, that's my favorite part. No, that's my, like, my you know what's crazy to me is like I never I've never really saw it like that until like I recently I've been getting a lot of DMs from fans and telling them, hey, bro, you know what? Like you really changed my perspective in life. Like I feel like all you guys helped me out in my my day to day life. You know, yeah. and that hit me. I'm like, damn, like people really. Yeah. Like fuck with us, yeah. like, not just me, but everyone, like yeah. in our in the whole group. And then there's other fans, like, <laughs> dude. Okay, 
Um, I feel bad because I feel like she's going to watch it. And that's fine. She okay. it. Well, it's because there was a fan who like messaged me and she was being super nice. And I just stopped replying because honestly, I'm just not good at replying. Like, yeah. I'm really, really not. I know people say that, but I swear to God, I just never reply. Yeah. And she messaged me and then she messaged me again. She's like, you're not going to reply. And I think, <laughs> I think she got mad because then she sent me a, like, a story. And then I think we were talking about like the Rihanna situation. Obviously, I said that I didn't like it. Yeah, She's yeah. like, then you do it, wench. Yeah, I was like, I think she's Damn, mad. Right. And what? after that, I'm like, well, now what am I gonna say? Like, yeah. No, I dude, can't reply even, now. Dude, some fan base just calm the fuck down, Wench? bro. Yeah, I've noticed like, that like, certain artists, you can't even criticize whatsoever. Or no matter what they do, and they can do some shitty shit. Don't criticize them. Exactly. Don't go after Taylor Swift. Don't go after Rihanna. Beyonce. Don't go after Beyonce. Don't go after Harry Styles. Don't, don't go, go after, after Harry Styles. Friends. I learned that. <laughs> yeah, I told you. I didn't you. give a fuck. Fuck you guys. You. I don't care. <laughs> but like, About hey, bro, who? he's next door. No, bro. just because, like, just because I said, door. just because, no, no, I'm, I'm not him. I'm saying the fans, his uh, fans. Yeah. <laughs> they got mad because I remember, like, he like headlined. Oh, uh, but who are you talking about? Harry Styles. Harry Styles. I learned that. I'm saying I learned that because they were like, got Max. I just said, oh, I mean, I wouldn't want to watch him at Coachella because for me, it was Coachella. was like, I want to get lit, you yeah, know, yeah, you yeah. know, you know, but that's not my type of music. That, it was cool. their own. And then, like, they, they just got mad because he made a TikTok out of it and they got <laughs> mad. And I was just like, you already know, like, if Saul uh, pinned your TikTok, bro, you're going to get all <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I swear to God, every single time I get the notification on my phone that says, like, oh, new reel posted from Bessie, I'm like shaking. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is Saul editing? I'm like, oh, he edited now. Yeah, yeah, like, my, my mom always <laughs> figures she's like, oh, you just go on the podcast so men can talk shit to you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> no. It's just, I don't Woman know, too, a, mom. It's the yeah. shock factor, you know? It's the shock factor. Yeah, you gotta hit that's definitely a shock factor. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna yeah, get them back. I'm editing already, yeah, so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Do it, bro. Yeah. Please, for the love of God. Get him back. The it's times where he's done that on purpose to me, he does it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't put like. Of course, he can't put the hey, full hey, conversation, hey, but hey, you guys get. He will skip, skip things where I like actually like uh, explain hey, or like I clarify. Where did I get it? But then he's like. Aaron. He literally put on all like what seemed bad, and I was just it was it was like I was just talking <laughs> mad shit about something when it was like no, I was not even talking shit. I was like just saying something, but he puts in he edits it where it's like I was just talking mad shit. But you know what's and funny? then goes TikTok boom and all he, the he, fucking comments. He, he's literally I, gonna edit that entire com- everything you just said to yeah. I am talking mad shit and then put whatever yeah, else you want. He would do that. I used to think you were a dickhead. I'm not even <laughs> <laughs> until I would watch it through no and then way. I'd be like. What? Thank you. So, so, so every so TikTok you, where I've gotten heat was because he fucking edited it that yeah. way. No, and but I was I like, think it just goes right. to show more that like people will really you have their attention for like a certain amount of time. And, that's and what, you, what you say is really what what's gonna like it's just what's gonna come through. And it's so crazy to me that people like will make these huge like fucked up comments about you and then they will not even care to go look at the whole thing oh, like yeah. like they realize that this is just a snippet of the podcast you know why before you make a judgment it's like you know how they say like when someone comes with you like their side of the story you know you're not gonna you're gonna hold off on like a judgment you're gonna say well hold up let me, let me hear, hear the other it. side first you know yeah, let me know the whole time. story first before I make a decision or before I make a judgment whatever and it's like people on the internet don't fucking yeah. do that they just see a little clip and they just run with it and they like talk yeah. all this shit and like bitch go fucking watch the podcast and then they think just because we have a mic in front of us we're like some doctor yeah, yeah. Like some right news- yeah, 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 like, yeah do your yeah. research like, newscaster you yeah some newscaster research. like the video we just posted yesterday about Kylie Jenner I uh, know um, Kendall Jenner dating Bad Bunny yeah, yeah. I saw a comment so like oh my god so it's real but just because you guys were talking about it <laughs> oh, I was like god. nah they're just talking about it you know yeah. or when they're like that's actually not true this is how it is and we're like dude it's okay just vibes. calm down it's just vibes, it's just vibes. Uh, vibing hard but damn. I, but look at now I got to know you and I know you're wonderful. Actually, Sonia is the one who was like, "Dude, Aaron's the coolest." Mm-hmm. Dude, like I, I like I never mean to hurt no one. I know I have my opinions on things, but he just I, hates women. That's that's why I hate too. <laughs> The reason why people think I hate women is because they always fucking say that. They always say that I'm shit. Like, this is my friend Aaron. He hates women. Yeah, this to is my friend Aaron. Fair, he hates women. To be fair, he said scandalous sometimes stuff. you do say scandalous things. Have you heard what they said? Yes, but we're but... joking. That's a thing. <laughs> and I've never been joking all <laughs> now. So we're being real. You're being for real. You're getting riled up right now. Yeah, I think it's it's the that you take it very at heart. Heart. Yeah. Look. All I'm saying is... You hate women. Women are... Tra- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but like... You guys always say that shit. You guys put it in people's head that I hate women. It's like, dude, no, I don't. If anything, I'm more of the lover boy out of all three of us. Fuck no, you guys. I love women. Yeah. I love women. I love women. Are we going to believe the hoes? Thank you. Um, they love women you. in a different way. 
Bro, I love, honestly, bro. Yeah, I, by fucking, I'm leaving them. Yeah, you love objectifying I don't, women. I don't. Me? I actually I, had a, I haven't had compared to pizzas. Object, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I haven't had like I haven't had a sexual relationship in so long. Hey, but honestly, let's talk about like how women are becoming more like men now in the sense of like. Big dog. Like they think like men. Like I feel like men now are getting hurt and women are like the dogs now, bro. Yeah, not for sure. Be honest. Okay, this honest. is let, this let's is, let's break it down. I saw I just saw a snippet we'll of the Drew Afwalo. Do you guys know who that is? I know. Say that again? No. I Drew Afwalo. I think that's her last name, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. She's um she got really big on TikTok because okay. she, she would, would talk shit to men. She would talk shit to men, but, but like oh, they deserve yeah, it. Yeah, but oh, only about. men that were like being like sexist or misogynist. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah, she yeah. would hit him with facts. Like she was she mm. was Aaron on that. Like Aaron, yeah, Aaron was on a call. Did Aaron get any of those clips? He no. wasn't. But um <laughs> she had a guest on her podcast and they were talking about how men, you know, they have been doing XYZ for the beginning of time mm -hmm. and now that women are starting to do the same they just forget that they've had this huge advantage mm -hmm. and they want to like mm -hmm. they like you you know us saying we want equality they're like oh well you wanted equality it was like yeah but look at the head start you had uh, yeah, so I see what you mean. that's why i don't like comments where it's like oh women are starting to act like men like no dude we're just starting to act like human because you guys we're finally being able to we're finally given that space to be allowed to explore our sexuality, our desires, our dreams. To work. To, to work. Thought. You know, exactly. All <laughs> these things that to you, be guys able to have, think. <laughs> that you guys have been doing for hundreds yeah. of years. And now we're kind of doing it. And, you know, we get bashed on. We get slut shamed. And it's all this shit that I'm yeah. like, bro, no, really? I feel, like you, I feel like a lot of you guys get like, like, you guys like, yeah, women in power. I, well, yeah, that's what I, you're saying. It, it just started. Yeah, from yeah, women, yeah. but other yeah. men, obviously. I, 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 like, I, I like, like the whole action. feminist thing. I'm not going to lie. You're discrediting, discrediting her. I, her, I like the whole feminist <laughs> thing, bro. You know, my girl's like, you know, she's 100% feminist. No, dude, I love and, her. And I t I'm telling you that the only thing that I don't really like, I support everything, but the only thing I don't like Feminist. is that <laughs> I know now we live like a lot of a lot of women are doing like a lot of masculinity, like energy or whatever you mm -hmm. say. Are, are but... You, yeah. It, it's fucked up how they say that when men do it, it's toxic. But I'm like, that's the, we do it, but we do it and we control it our ways. In what sense, though? Pretty much saying like, and now it's like, oh, you know, if you're if you're a single mother, if you do this, you do that. Like, it's okay, this and that. You don't need this, you don't need that. But you know, what about single fathers? There's also there's also like two sides of the coin. You know, there uh, single is. mothers get praised so much, and I praise them because single mothers that is. Yeah, that that's a hard job. Period. Mm -hmm. That's a miracle. Yeah, first yeah, of all, hundred percent. If you're a single mother and you're able to take care of two, three kids, one kid, whatever, and you still have time to take them to soccer practice after working two jobs, mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful. yeah, beautiful. But there's also Amazing. single fathers. Also they single never fathers, get fucking you know? praised ever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Ever. About, I don't know what's on your timeline, but every time a single father comes across my for you page, it's like all praise. It's like because mostly I've seen it's those. there's a narrative that single men are deadbeats you know mm -hmm. and there is a fair share of yeah. deadbeats no, yeah. dads sure. who do not give a fuck yeah. about their kids don't help out financially mm -mm. don't look don't look watch their kids don't yeah. spend time yeah. with them nothing you know so um i feel like there's in uh, and boys women and men have their fair share of both sides you know but i personally whenever i come across a single father that's actually being a good dad it's they're getting nothing but yeah, praise, yeah, you know. Big time. So. You know yeah, you know like I, I have an uncle, like he raised two of my cousins, mm -hmm. you know, girls, two girls by himself. His his wife cheated mm -hmm. on him and left them, bro. And he raised my two cousins and like Damn, I even told my to girl, me. like, look at this. This is another yeah. Yeah. thing for you yeah. to not say, like, only women, only women. Like, no, there's there are men. No, out I feel there. like that's not fair either, because if you look at it that way, you know, that single father is gonna get an insane amount of praise. Because uh -huh. men don't normally not really do praise. That. It's more like you're expected to do that. Because you're a man. Yeah. You're expected to yeah. provide. You're expected to do this. You're expected, you're expected to provide, protect, do all this. There's no praise. Right, but it's You're not, just expected as a guy. Yeah, but it's not expected for you guys to be nurturing. It's not expected for you to be yeah. emotionally yeah, available not, to your not. children. Yeah, None not. of that is expected of you. Well, I'm sorry, and I mothers, can't mothers, mothers right, but mothers still that's have to not, be protective. But mothers, nurturing? Not, that's... Are you kidding me? You don't know what nurturing means? Like, you know, does nurturing that mean, is nurturing like... Nurturing is not only <laughs> just... Nurturing. Nurturing. It's up. I like squishing this, milk Aaron. out of your boob. What I'm saying is... Care of First off, it's like, how can you... That's what I mean. A lot of men are making these arguments. They don't even know what certain words mean. It's just like, oh, yeah. they're just like, mm, I think I know what it means. So let me argue and say that that's not what this is. So, it's like, dude, educate yourselves a little more and then let's talk about it because... Hmm. And not just for you, Aaron. I'm not trying to tag you. Like, says, just like, oh, <laughs> this is what happens in the yeah, best. Yeah, I, got, I got something, though. I got something for the feminists, though. I don't like the, emascul the emasculation, is that the yeah. word? Of that they try to make, like, men become more soft, even though some of us just, we don't, we, there's no need for emasculation, you know? 
I don't think that's that's needed. What do you mean by become mm. like, more like, something like, big? Like, now. like like for example, yeah. I'll put it into an example. I was dating this, some some girl. And she like I, you know we used to walk. It's on his episode. <laughs> <three. laughs> Let's just say her name started like all my exes, <laughs> and um, with the same letter. And I would we would hold hands or grab her or whatever. And then she had a habit of trying to like grab me from the back, and like I, I told her no. She was like, "Why not?" And I was like, "I just don't like that." She's like, "You do that to me." I was like, "But you don't tell me you don't like it." I was like, "This right. is that difference." Yeah. I was like, "Don't try to yeah. emasculate me." And if I don't feel comfortable, don't be upset. Yeah, because yeah. I think that that's something like feminism is really trying to put on. Like men should become softer in a way. Which I agree, men should become more in tune with their emotions and how nurturing they are towards other people. Yeah. And I think that's just people regardless, right? Yeah. No, yeah like, that, that should be something that men should have been able to do from the get-go. Exactly. They're exactly. barely being I, allowed to show yeah. that side. I, yeah, because I feel like back, like, even 10 years ago, you'd get made fun of for being, like, a nurturing, yeah. of, like, man. Yeah. yeah. Now, like, if you're home, like, if you're, like, your friends hurt or something and you're, you're actually scared where you're like people will be like it's okay mm-hmm. and I, I think, don't think yeah I think, that's I think we're thing. just I think as men we're just scared to open up and show our emotions because we're scared of what's gonna happen after like whether they're gonna use that against us yeah. and I don't you know? think that's a feminist issue I think that's a male issue yeah. because you should be allowed to be soft <laughs> and, and strong at trauma. the same time because truthfully that's how I feel women are like we have to be able to um, go through all these traumas and still be able to give love. And I, I think that's just a human experience, yeah. but I don't think men allow themselves the space to be both. And it hasn't mm. been allowed, and I feel like, especially in the Hispanic culture, you know, right. like, yeah. it's like, like you just said, it, you're going to say something about how you feel and then it's going to be used against you. And I feel like I see that a lot in like the Hispanic community mm-hmm. where you try to tell your parents your side or you're crying like, Ay, te la boca, or, like it's going to hitting, yelling yeah. and validating mm-hmm. your experience. Or if you say, I feel this or I did that. And they're like, no, you didn't or you shouldn't. You know, you kind of grow up not being allowed to do that. Mm-hmm. So when you grow up, you kind of have this idea because it's been generalized in our culture and in a society that just men shouldn't feel or shouldn't speak or shouldn't say anything mm-hmm. that quote unquote makes them look soft but I personally think that now that it is happening it, I love it I feel like way more attracted to a man who can be strong and masculine but can also show some of their feminine exactly. and emotionally nurturing um, is able to like process their own emotions and able to have healthy communication mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like that is important for a relationship and is way more attractive to me than getting a dick pic <laughs> like, you know, getting, hey you know, I feel just... sad today <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, sure you I got you, babe. Like, so this, See, like she, she sends like like love emojis. Like, yes, yeah. I, this is what I, this this I need. This is what I need. Losing the world to me. Depression <laughs> cured. Like, See, I, I like that, but I, I like I like what Vanessa said, but I really don't like those words to kind of like saying, "Oh, you're toxic. This, this is toxic. This is toxic. Don't tell me what so, to do." Yeah, I, I, agree you, so here's, here's I don't one. like I, them making it like personality. Like, I bro, saw, like, I relax, saw one. Like, I saw know? something firsthanded. I was at the gym, and this guy was like deadlifting, and he was grunting. It was it looked like heavy weight. Like, yeah. Like that, and I was just stretching, so I was already finished. And this girl was like, "Wow, he's just trying to be such a manly man." What like, the fuck? Go because do it. You're gonna grunt too. Like that shit's yeah, heavy. Yeah, like yeah. I was like, bro, like or like 500 pounds. No, it wasn't two. It, it was like maybe like three or something. It was still heavy. But it's like, what's the reason for you to even like point that out? Like he's I, not being I, a manly man. He's just being a man that I just grunts. Feel like <laughs> just how men have a lot of work to do. I feel like women as well when mm-hmm. it comes to those kind of ideas. You know mm-hmm. where. I feel like a lot of women still kind of carry trauma or just pain like that men are, you know, like all these, they have, we have all these ideas. Yeah, for sure. And just how yeah. we, men are working on themselves on trying to be better men, women also need to get rid of certain ideas like that. Like seeing a man grow at the gym mm-hmm. like and think, oh, he's trying to be a manly like, man. Like he's trying to be big. Yeah, like, no, no, bro, yeah, like, like that's... But I also think that you can't blame your individual experiences on a yeah. whole general idea. Correct. Yeah. And everybody tends yeah. to do yeah. that. Yeah. 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 That whole yeah. argument with like feminists and like just people, I think it's always just, it's always an individual example that happened to exactly. you. Yeah. And then they generalize everything. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. we want, obviously, generally men should be given the space and, and that's, at least for me, that's what feminism is. It's not necessarily like, oh, women deserve this much and men deserve this little. Mm-hmm. It's more of like, okay, we all deserve a safe space. We all deserve to, you know, open our feelings and whatever. Yeah. Just because this one guy's a toxic dickhead doesn't mean all men are toxic. Oh, yeah. Just how this woman is maybe like, because yeah, I, I think the I problem you. is like, oh, well, I was talking to this girl and she didn't let me be sensitive. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that's the girl though. Yeah. That doesn't mean in as a general whole, everyone's and I feel, like that's that. why I feel like yeah. generalizing is so dangerous because. Oh, for sure. 
it gets people riled up. It's like if you say, "Oh man, this and this and that," yeah. it's men but, are gonna feel attacked, and then they're gonna obviously want to like defend. But if you say, "Well, this one guy," you know, it it changes yeah. the you have the to whole say scenario. Some. Yeah, because at the end of the day, all, all girl, all girls are different. All men are different. And also, we're I actually very alike part, more than you guys think. It's like we're, saying we're all so Mexicans. much more alike. Yeah. And I say though, I think the hard part is because we're also in meme culture. Yeah. 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 So yeah. like people can be tweeting out, "Oh." All men are trash, right? And then they'll still be like laid up with their man. Yeah, oh, literally. Yeah. literally. So, also, that goes with if I'm saying all men are trash and my man knows that's not him, then that exactly. Then he's sure. I know, but what I'm saying yes. is for the people seeing those tweets, right? And then it engraves into their head, like, oh, so yeah. now, now it turns into like a some people who don't understand the meme culture of it, mm. they take it defensively Correct. and then yeah. they start generalizing with other things. Do they not, do propaganda on that? Because yeah. yeah. Sierra yeah. literally wrote a sure. song. And the caption said, "Oh, she wrote a song for all the heartbreak girls because men do this." And I'm like, "Why are you? Why are you making it more toxic?" It? Yeah. Like, Sierra has one of the best fucking relationships and like out there. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, yo, and she's still like propaganda now. So it's it, it is sells. a propaganda. It's show. what sells. Yeah, you know, which is when, sad. When someone listens to a song, they want to, especially because everyone goes through heartbreak. Yeah, everyone wants to feel. share. Everyone wants to feel, yeah. and they know that. Damn. Not all men, but somehow always a man. That's all. I'm trying. <laughs> to, I'm trying to be better. That's a feminism point. I think it's a circle. I think it's a circle. Though. A whole man culture. Yeah. I think it's really a circle. Like a man's not gonna wake up and be like, "I'm gonna be a fucking asshole today. I'm gonna break this girl's heart." Like at some point, that girl had to break his heart. And then that guy broke that yeah, girl's it's heart. That triangle. Yeah. And then that girl became that way. And that's what that yeah. you know what I mean? It's like mm. a little circle. It keeps going. I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to be to better. Like therapy. my marriage. <laughs> I'm really trying to be better. Cause like I told my Use girl our like code for better health. Oh, yeah. <laughs> friends. Yeah. No, honestly, I'm gonna show you guys something really intimate. My dad, before he died, like literally a week before he died, he told he told my brother, he's like, El machismo no vale la pena. Mm. Like Literally, he he was, and my dad was yeah. very sexist growing up, mm -hmm. and him saying that was like huge for me, yeah. because I grew, I think I grew up that way because he was so sexist that I was like, I'm like, you're my dad, and because my my dad literally used to tell me he'd be like, if I were Alex, I would have slapped you. Like he would say it jokingly, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's but still comments you know, that you're like, yeah. why, why would you, would you say that, say that yeah. to me? Like, yeah. why would you want someone to treat me badly? I'm your daughter, yeah. Yeah. and. It, he did, he changed so much throughout his life. And I think the problem is that, like, at least for me, like, I see the way my dad was in the end. And I'm like, I want someone like that. Like, I want someone to love me like that. Mm -hmm. And I know that it took all these years of all of these troubles, like, between him and my mom and, you know, just other external stuff. And for him, at the end of the line, to say something like that was so impactful to me mm -hmm. that I know that men can be better. And I know yeah. they choose not to be sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like for 100%. for the biggest person, like you know, you know, your dad is your protector, mm -hmm. needs to be whatever. So for him to say something like that to me, like I know men can be better, yeah. and I know sometimes they choose not to be, and I know sometimes they want to be the victim, and sometimes you're not. Just uh, the same way that sometimes women are not the victim, but I think culturally it is up to men to change it because. When women try to tell men what to do, you guys don't like it. Yeah, we yeah. So you power, guys, yeah. you guys need to choose to 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 make that change. No, yeah, At least I think. And you know, you know, it's, like it's um, the fact that your dad says like, "No vale la pena ser machismo," like it's true because like I think being in my relationship now that I am with mm -hmm. my girlfriend, like she made me get closer to my dad because I never had a good relationship with my dad mm -hmm. ever. Like it was hard for me to even tell him happy birthday, to give him a hug and shit. You know, it's 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 hard. Yeah, but um. <laughs> I don't know. It's just yeah, no, bro. Like, bro, a lot of things have happened with me and my dad that I don't want to yeah. talk about. But yeah, like, yeah, sure. it took it took for my girlfriend now, like, to kind of like, like, hey, you know what? Like, you need to realize that we're not always gonna have our parents around yeah. us. No, you know definitely. what I mean? So it's like, um, it's hard for me. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's all I was gonna say. Like, I, I love what you said because. I'm literally trying to be the best hu husband. I'm not trying to like fight with my girl. I'm not trying to scream. And there's times where like. My girl be like, oh, your dad's machisto, your dad's this, your, dad, your dad's that. And I'm like, why are you worried about that? That's mm -hmm. my parent. Yeah. I treat you way better, mm -hmm. but don't ever compare me to my dad. Right, like, I'm the new generation. Yeah, I'm you're treating breaking you, the curse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, treating with love and care. Yeah. Yeah. So don't compare me. And if I was if I was like my father, you would have not been with me. Mm. Oh yeah. So you should appreciate yeah. who I am because... I, yeah, you would have. Yeah, sure. I would have. And, and you have to appreciate the effort too. Like yeah. you can't change someone from one day to another. You can't even change yeah. someone a year from like. It's not even years. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah. I think that's the issue lifetime. that people think that like, that the old generation needs to just change like that. Yeah, but it's like, exactly. bro, give them time. Like your dad, your dad was super old school, right? Yeah. 
Shout out to him, rest in peace. He changed. Yeah, I'm he glad. changed. I'm glad. It yeah. can happen between the years. I'm yeah. saying, but like guys, like I know we're like we're mad at our parents or mad at our grandparents for being like this type of way. Remember, that was just the style back then. Yeah. Yeah. Can we really blame them? Everyone just living the style how it was. Yeah. Yeah. We're living the style that yeah. it is now. And yeah. they were traumatized too. You know. Yeah. 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 Like don't it's don't like get it. Don't don't get it twisted. They yeah. had it hard back then. They like had it harder than us. Honestly, yeah. like yeah. let's be honest. But like you can't expect a whole generation just to change like that. Right. Give them time. Whether that's five years, ten years. Years, yeah. they could change and also you just gotta start implementing that it if you do change or you do become better it doesn't mean that you're perfect and it's always gonna be that way you're mm-hmm. still gonna fuck up like there's yeah. still gonna be times where you're not gonna get it right and you have to have grace for yourself and be with someone and surround yourself with people that are gonna see the human in you and not just because you fuck up one time again they're gonna like be like oh here we go again you know right. like throw yeah. it in your face yeah. bring up old shit cause that's not good either you know yeah. it's like fucked up apologize let's move forward you know but Mm-hmm. Yes. At the end of the day, <clears throat> men need to get better. Women need to get better. Men need yeah. to get better at certain things. Women need to get better at certain things. It's, it's all just connected. Yeah. It's all. Yeah. Ge- it's don't just generalize the, it. The human yeah. race that needs human, to. Yeah, all yeah. Because look, at the end of the day, would that ever be solved? No, at the end of the day, Never. men and women were all I the same. I truly s- think it's gonna get worse. <laughs> at the end of the day, men and women were all the same in yeah. certain things. Of course, we're not always the same in certain things. Yeah. That's what we would think. We're not. We're not the same. Yes and no. That's what I'm trying to say. Is in certain things we are. Certain things we're not. But that's okay. That's life. But let's learn how to live together and actually fucking get along. And it's not even just life. It's just geography. You know, like, I'm pretty sure people that are, like, farmers look at, you know podcasters and they're like look these aren't men yeah, like aren't men. You know, oh, they, they don't know callus yeah they don't got, and, I got I, I, I callus hey. I also gotta say hey, I'm a man going ah. <laughs> I, I also I'm gotta say man. like you, you're never your parents you can say I'm not. like this cause my mom I'm like this cause my dad I hate like, that you're that's never. So toxic if you start saying that you're a toxic that's what toxic you know I need a change bro I know I'm not I'm not the greatest lover I try to be I try to be better it's hard for me but I'm trying. You know, and I'm, I'm like, trying to break those curves. And I think we were talking about it last time. It's important to acknowledge maybe if you're having explaining to someone like, look, I'm realizing that I have this and this and that because of how I grew up. You know, my dad was this and that. You know, obviously don't say I'm like this because of my dad, you know. Yeah, maybe they pass on those traits. But if you're already making the commitment to work on yourself and you're realizing you're aware, maybe if you want to explain it a time or two to under- so your partner or your friend or whatever can mm-hmm. understand that's valid but when it becomes like an excuse every single time you fuck up oh it's because of my dad or it's because of my mom mm-hmm. or you know it's gonna get old I, and it's, at one point you have to be accountable because you're your own person now I, you're I, not yeah old. I think I think there's adult. a difference between an explanation and an excuse it, yes because an explanation yes. I will sit down with you and we're gonna talk for mm-hmm. as long yeah. as it matters and yeah. excuse like oh, oh well, that's, well, that's how my mom yeah. was yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. that's also, how I am that's how I am deal with it like no I'll deal with you leave yeah. yeah, it also goes down to what Vanessa was saying. Like, you can change, but there's gonna be moments in your right. relationship or in life where you're gonna fuck up. Yeah. And that's what I do. Like, I try to change to become a better person, mm-hmm. but I fuck up. You know, I'm mm-hmm. human. Like, sometimes I do mistakes and I say the wrong things and I hurt the person. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn. Like, what if that person gives up on me? It's like I'm trying, but you just give yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll give you guys an example. Like, my girl she, back then, you know, when I met her, she used to cuss a lot. Saying hella bad words, but in the sense of that <laughs> she couldn't finish a sentence without saying bad word. And her yeah. excuse for everybody was like, "Oh, that's that's how I am because my mom's like this." Yeah. And now her mom changed. Her mom stopped cussing, and I and I tell her like, "Why are you still cussing? Like, like why are you still cussing? Your mom yeah. stopped that. Like now it's your turn. Like I don't know why you made excuse for years. Like you should stop saying it. Like, like when you're at your work, okay, you sound professional, but yeah. t- like cussing is not your personality. Like you mm-hmm. should really stop. And mm-hmm. she's yeah, been working on it, and I see the changes, you know. Yeah. But it's it's the like Vanessa said, it's the little stuff yeah. that they pass yeah. around. Honestly, yeah. I always tell people, um, especially when when someone's like, "Oh, well, how do you know you're in love?" or "How do you know this is the person for you?" I always think about, and I, not that I'm glad this happened to me, but I I'm thankful for the ex- for the lessons I learned going through you know my dad's sickness. I'm always like. Is this person going to take care of you when you're sick? Is this person going to take care of you when you're old? Is it worth it to go go through all of this mm-hmm. when you're at the end of the line and you're like, this is the person I want sitting next to me yeah. when I'm like... Yeah. like I going. think that's all thing how you know you're in love is when that your partners, um, like whatever their downfalls are, whatever their, um, what do you call it, their ics, their whatever, their flaws. Yeah. That doesn't bother you because you're willing to yeah. help them with them. Yeah. Like you're, it's not just them working on it; it's you're helping them work on it too. Yeah, because yeah. you have flaws too. You. Yeah, yeah. Too. It does. It brings it brings you down, and I think that's part of the reason why I said like, oh, okay, I'm in love because 
I mean, yeah, I've had my fun in the past. You know what I mean? So it's like, I'm trying to change and become a better person. And I think when I was single, I was at peace. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to bring part of me. I wanted to bring that person into my life because I accepted her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then she brought, I'm not going to talk about it, but, you know, things started happening. But I'm like, your problems are my problems. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's I I think that's what most people lack is empathy towards yeah. your partner towards you know your towards friends other or people for other general. people. Yeah, they'll complain like, oh my god, he does this was well, like, yeah, or, or like, she oh, does not this. That bad. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I'm like, Damn. to you, yeah, but to exactly. me, to me, <laughs> my world's falling apart. Literally, to me, ripping my shoe, I'm done. Like I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not really right, but yeah. I'm still gonna like be like, oh my god, it's, like, it's not a big deal. I was like, yeah, especially because everyone different pain tolerances you yeah. know even emotional pain tolerances yeah, yeah. you know something mm-hmm. that like i look at vanessa and i i really do admire you so much because i can't even imagine being a mom and you just make it look like it's the best thing in the world like Jeez. i know you're always like oh it's hard but you make it look like yeah. so much fun especially like how you post ezra and stuff like it never looks like you're falling apart yeah. and i know you know you have hard days too yeah mm-hmm. so i shout out to everybody going shout through out. it and yeah. nobody even knows because shout out to all yep. the single mothers single fathers yep. single fathers shout out to all you guys to the single people i mean just alone people shout out to everyone just feels alone we're here for shout you shout out to everyone watching with this that, with, that, with, that, with that yeah with, with that. that being said just treat people the way you want to be treated yes. I like being with treated respect. Like <laughs> with respect <laughs> Saul likes getting treated like a slut yeah, I like being treated like a feral <laughs> right? slut me out <laughs> all the time I, uh, we are here at the Spotify studio I just like saying that all the time oh, it's yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. so it course, sounds like on the radio it's a huge yeah. freaking so of course theme. we want to bring you guys in too so this is when we enter take the mic so you guys are familiar with take Ooh, the mic yeah. please give us something juicy Let's We're about how. to find some Tia fuckers. <laughs> Who's fucking Tia's, <laughs> Who's fucking Tia's today? <laughs> I will first. We're not going to start off like that. I got this one. That It was pretty. Let's let's read it. It's, it's, a little, well, it's a little deep, but we'll talk about it. Hey, friends. No, I was kidding. So about three years ago, I was diagnosed with stage five lung cancer. Everything has been like a movie since then. We all wanted to say is thank you for all the laughs uh, you have given me. And I have listened to y'all since the very first episode. Y'all brought me up when I was at my lowest. Just wanted to say, keep moving forward. Keep up the good work. By the way, they pulled a plug on me Friday. So at least I'll have time to listen to one more episode. What? Oh, shit. I didn't read it that far. Oh. That's tomorrow. Damn. Fuck. Um, I'm speechless. All I'm going to say, man... Is girl? How what? do we send a uh, girl oh, or boy? I know, is it a oh, female or male? Send them in an edited It doesn't say. Damn. Sorry to start, but. I know. Can we, can we, can we get that? <laughs> can we get that? Can right? we just nah, post that like, I... on the story? Talk about it on Fuck. like. Wow. Sheesh. I wish he was able to see this. Can we post something on our story? Sees. And be like, hey. Yeah. We really saw your, like. Yeah. Huh. I'm just yeah. going to say. I'm going to like, just say like, yeah, it goes to show that. Even if we think we don't make a difference in someone's life, we do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we don't, we didn't know what this person was going through and they live their day to day life mm-hmm. watching us. So, whatever we say, people are going to take it in a certain way. So, we help that person. You know what I mean? So, yeah. My condolences to your, yeah, our f- the family, to the family. <clears throat> yeah, I've gotten yeah. a lot of messages um, from like people, main, uh, mainly guys that always are like, Hey man, I'm, I'm I'm I've been going through some stuff. I've been like depressed, and I found you guys, and you guys just make me happy. Yeah. That shit hurts. It, it <laughs> like really hurts. it feels good that we can make someone happy on a hard time, but it just hurts to know that there's just people really going through it. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry for that. Um, and we're going to do our best for you moving forward. And we're going to carry you in our hearts. And thank you so much. And I am so sorry. I hope if their family sees this, they reach out to us. I don't know. We can see, like, just, you know, they were our friends. We we really built a really tight-knit community here. And, fuck. Yeah, I know I never heard an episode before, but fuck. <laughs> ah, shit. It's first thing for everything, you know? I'm like an ugly crap. Why couldn't you read ahead, man? <laughs> I did. I got sad way before you guys did. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man, dude. Well, man. I mean, this is why we do this stuff, you know? Oh. Just uh, so you guys don't feel alone. And... God, fuck, this is tough. Mm. 
I don't even want to read the next take the mic because it's so out of pocket, bro. <laughs> 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 Listen, yeah. but I it, have learned that I can't get through anything without comedy. It's a relief. Like, I really, really can't. My entire dad's funeral, I spent it joke after joke after joke. It's the only way. Like, yeah. it really is. Mm -hmm. Like, um, I don't know. They were saying... I'm about to say some out of pocket shit, but whatever. Like my friend was like, "Oh, you said something to my dad," and I was like, "Ah, I remember when I used to have a dad." And like, <laughs> it's yeah. fucked up and it's horrible, but yeah. it really is the only thing that gets me through. Your tweet? I wouldn't tweet, tweet it. No, I would say no, it's my. No, no, you tweeted something, and then you like, I was, I was about to oh like it. Oh my god, my dog's dad died, and I was like, twins. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's fucked yeah, yeah, yeah. up, but, but it helps it's you. not for. It, it helps you. It, like I, right. I understand. Dark it helps you cope. Dark, it's dark I, hope, I hope to have a Spotify in heaven because you'll love this next topic. <laughs> 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 no, but honestly, sending so much love to that family. Yeah, yeah one hundred percent. It's truly one of the hardest things to go through. We, we got. We got. Damn, I, I really, I really. Fuck, man. It would have been nice to at least visit him. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah if a family member listens and can get us connected, please reach yeah. out. Let us know. Yeah. yeah. And now, um, we'll go on to the next. Take the mic. Ka, I fell in love with the slut. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do it. Here. That's how they would have wanted it. That's, that's how they would have wanted it. That's how, it that's how they wanted it. That's how he would have wanted yeah. this. This is I the agree. podcast like of emotions. Wanted it that way. He would have wanted us to go to that next topic like that. So, uh, what, what do you do when you uh, fell in love with the quote unquote slut? You let it. You let you let it right out. You fucking Caesar. This sounds like you're. <laughs> <laughs> you you, cha you change her for the better. Something. You change, you, you change you, her. You you leave it at that. Does it matter like, to you? Does, oh, is she okay? Okay. Wait, that's it, all they said. Yeah, that's all they said. So, so, so is this, <laughs> said, what, what do you guys define he as a slut? He said, "Cause I, fell I feel like a slut." slut. So, like personally. I'm a slut. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't feel like being a slut, you have to sleep around with a bunch of people. Yeah. Like I said, like sleeping around with a bunch of people leaves you very empty inside. Yeah, but is it a mean, a mean slut or like a thoughtful slut? Like, like, uh, uh, I, been, like yeah, I love yeah, being yeah, slutted yeah. out. I'm a thoughtful slut. Like, if you slut me out, I'll slut you out, yeah. like, afterwards. I don't know what any of these words <laughs> so mean. Me either. I, know, what is so it? Like, like, you, I think, like, like the actual, like, word for a slut is, like, someone who sleeps with someone else's partner, right? Oh. That, that's uh, that's uh, what I said. We don't want Like those. a homewrecker. Yeah, but yeah, I think, like, just, I think some people just get, just because people sleep around doesn't make them a slut. Yeah, I, I think being a homewrecker makes you a slut. I don't. Oh, so, so you said, yeah, it does. I thought no, I heard you I say that. Honestly, like, if some guy... Fall in love with me and I say that in quotes and then they call me a slut, bitch. I don't want you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe right. they know their history, but they're not like that's that what anymore. You talk, you're like, I'm not a slut for you. I'm but for could you. that be it? Does history matter? They shouldn't. It shouldn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, how are they gonna be like, I love you, but you're a slut? It, like, what? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think it matters. I, love you, oh slut. I, don't, I don't think it matters, but I don't wanna know. <laughs> yeah. Huh? You know, oh, creeping I, on like, the love. Uh, history doesn't matter. Like you could have slept yeah, with yeah, yeah, like if we were dating, you could have slept with Fucking 40, 50 guys. What about 100? I don't care, but I don't want to know. Why? Yeah. It's gonna bug me. What? I just don't want to know. Her, 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 but I still don't want to know because it's gonna bug me. It's gonna be in my head. I don't know. You're a mountain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you guys? Yeah. Can you guys yeah, yeah. agree with that? Yeah, no, I I, agree. yeah. that makes sense. Just Is keep it, your past. You rather have a new car or a used car? Bro, oh, that okay. word is no, old. Car, <laughs> <because> <laughs> okay. I got no payments on them. <laughs> <laughs> that word is old. Yeah, bro. It's like old. it's so old. Yeah, like yeah. slut. Like, yeah. Like, what about little slut? Yeah. You little slut. Slut. You gotta like slut it. I don't think it was used in the 1800s. To me, I don't think. No, it was used in the 1800s. You okay, went this, is, this next take <laughs> the mic went. is Harlot. pretty Harlot. This next take the mic We got some We got some tea spilling Ooh. Ooh Hey Saul Tell me if this girl Is cheating on her man I'm sure you know this girl On Instagram Ooh A name I don't know if I should say We can't It's a hundred episode We just can't episode. We can't I'll say it right now how about you just show it us? Out. I'll say well, no, you guys don't know her. Oh. You, but you do. Well, yeah, yeah, but we but do. We She's do. like a fan. Oh, oh yeah, don't lose. Don't like day one. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you know her as well. She told me she liked, she talked to you on the DM. Ha ha. Ooh. Well, I've been talking to her and doing the nasty things on FaceTime. Finding out she had a man that lived in Wisconsin and she lived in Oregon. What do you think about the situation? 
We didn't know she had a man. We didn't know she had a man. Is it cheating if it's just through FaceTime? Nah. Ah, 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 goes back to the strip club. Ah, no, honestly, okay. I don't. I don't know her. Is it cheating? I, I don't, if we you don't just know her. Like, we don't know her. She, she just kind of. We. It's like a like fan. Like yeah, just, we reply here. Reply. And there, we we have a good. Just remember, like, wait, wait, So he's <laughs> asking if it's cheating or she's, not. She's, she's cheating. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, then yeah, she should. Hey babe, I just, just I just fell, I tripped and I fell on it. Like I'm sorry, it was it was on. <laughs> no, accident. babe, it's like if I was watching porn. It's it's not it's not cheating. <laughs> yeah. Wait, really? so is porn just... is porn cheating? This was a real question. No. <laughs> what? Hey, what if what if like because you know you're like if, what, if she what, if she, what if she told her, what if she told her boyfriend like oh we get us like celebrity hall pass. So it's like I want to hit him to be my celebrity. I would take it to this day. I still want to fuck William Levy, baby. If you're watching this, oh, even with the long hair. I love you. I don't give a damn. William. We have. I have a list. Yeah, I will have a list. A list. Okay, how about I got like a, a famous people? Oh, I like that was like one. You're like, nah, I got how about a list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm a, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> You're like Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Oh, Michael B. Oh, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Creed for sure. I mean, I got I got a good one for you. I got. So we have a guest. Uh, the next take the mic. Okay. It's uh, we used to have this segment called um, Would You Reply? Okay. okay. So we want to know if you would put our friend Kike on your celebrity hall pass, right? On our celebrity hall pass. That's what we're talking about on your hall pass with this pickup line. Okay. Would you reply to this pickup line? <laughs> Shout out to Kike y la novia Perez. Shout out to Kike y la novia Kike. <laughs> so let me know if you would reply to this. Okay. I want to be your ex boyfriend stuntman and do the things he didn't have the courage to do. Ooh. Mm. That, shit, that, shit, that shit worked on me. But would, would you reply to that? I'd be like, yeah. Ooh, where That's you a from? good one. I think it goes down. Oh, I'm out. I'm talking like you. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think it goes down. It depends how attractive you are. Just be honest. <laughs> no, I honestly I agree. I feel like I would respond if there was some level of attraction, like physically. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If I don't, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna waste your time yeah. and my time. Especially yeah. on IG, just in. physical it first. And yeah. Then yeah. Then slide in. He, 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 he also, slide in. You got uh, this easy. Uh, attractiveness to a person also counts because they can all do the same thing with like when it comes down to creepiness. Creepiness is because you don't find that person attractive, but the same dude you found attractive said the same exact line. Yeah. And delivered the same exact way. You didn't find it creepy, but the ugly guy said it to you the same exact way. I wouldn't you found okay, it creepy. Hold on, though, because you're have... saying ugly, which is subjective. To you, to you. Also, I think creep creeps tend to nag. Like, what do you mean? Like, you mean? if you say, yeah. yeah, like if Let someone says hug. something to you and you're, they're like, oh no, no thanks, and you're like, why not? Yeah, that's, that's no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, but a one liner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one liner. Yeah, I would have yeah. not been like creep. No, I wouldn't have said that. Because you know, even I have homegirls. We're at the club. And they, one guy says one line. They say no, and they're like, the all right, cool. And then, and they'll be like, oh, what a creep. Homegirls like, are toxic. Why? Like, he just girls came up toxic. to you, said what's up, and said yeah. one line, and you said no. He's left. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. If he left, if he's not fucking, it was all because you didn't find him attractive. That was a day after. You found him creep. You only found him creep because you didn't find him attractive. But it was pretty privileged. Dude, who said the same fucking thing? You'd have been like, oh my god. I always. I like to let people off easy. I don't like to be a bitch be like yeah. um ew i'm married or yeah. something i'm like yeah imagine for, like, no yeah, imagine, yeah. for no yeah. reason yeah. imagine a guy who's like just trying to build up his confidence he goes up to a girl exactly. somewhere and it's, she's like what's the worst she could say no fucking worst thing you could be like that's the worst thing she's like ew fucking call the cops what's the worst that could happen we'll do we'll do two more here's the next one you guys ready yeah i just wanted to say that i just broke up with my boyfriend tonight after taking him back twice i love him so fucking much but it doesn't mean it's working was thinking of Caesar saying, you can, you can do, do better, better queen. queen. And how Aaron said to love. And I thanked him for showing me how much I could have, how I could love someone. You guys are always oh. uplifting. Lots of love this Valentine's. And hope Hans had a great one too. Oh, he's taking, he's taking. Hey, Thanks. he's taking. I just think it goes down to like, if, you can do if they're queen. both in the agreement, like, you know, they, they try to work it out and it didn't work. Yeah. And they yeah. both came up with the terms like, you know what, let's just... Okay. Let's just not continue. So you gotta love your fucking you know? toxic ex, asshole. I respect when couples Separate. break up and I'm a what's that word? I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a yeah, because I think it's like damn when they're like talking shit about each other online or like doing like extra stuff. I'm like damn, like I love seeing it. What he said? Y'all really posting screenshots and receipts and the tea? Like fuck. You're in the DMs already wondering. Literally. No, and it and it takes a big person to know that you love someone and it's just it's not. Just not. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's the hardest. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. those are the most heartbreaking Heart yeah. breakups. Yeah. The, the most savage I've seen, bro, was I knew some guy in, in high school. He went to Coachella in 2015 and Drake was performing. Mm -hmm. That fool literally took a photo of his ex to Coachella. And while he's saying Marvin's room, 
like that fool put it up and then put it on the face screen <laughs> oh, shit. of his ex because his ex cheated on him. Damn. Damn. And, and Drake even went like, yo, like, you know, hey, like, but if I was his ex, I'd be hyped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drake noticed Drake me. Just ah. that to me. Yeah. Uh, imagine Drake shout out to your ex. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin's too. You're like, no, oh, no shout outs, bro. What's, 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 what's her Instagram? Her <laughs> He's like, hey, yo, big homie, get, get in the back. What's her app? <laughs> All right, we are at the last one. Here we go. No, wait, before you read it. Yeah. How would you feel about that? If you went, you took the picture of your ex, and Drake <laughs> specifically called to the back to ask you for her app. <laughs> would you be upset? Or would you be like, fuck it? I'd I'd mean, like, like, I did that to myself. I did that, yeah. I'm a, I'm, I'd, I'd be, be mad. mad. And let's say, and let's say you I'd loved her, and you were actually hella heartbroken that she cheated on you. Yeah, he no, posts the baddest picture of her. I'd, I'd, what, I'd be mad, just, but at this point, I'd be like, hey, well, give me like, I don't know, 500 bucks. I'll give you that. Give me that 10K, baby. Just because I know how Drake be fucking with hot sauce, I'll be like, you could have her app. <laughs> Put that hot sauce. Hey, you better make them reimburse you for that I'm, ticket. On God, I'll be like, can we take a picture? I'll no, be like, I want your reimbursement. I want to. Sure. I want money, and I want a free ticket to your next show. And hoes. Exactly. And hoes. Oh yeah, I switched. You know, ho for a ho. Oh, uh, for a ho. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Yep. Need advice. My girl and I have been arguing, and I've been slacking and not doing enough in the relationship. So now every weekend she goes out with her friends who I know have cheated in their current relationships. <laughs> I don't want to tell her to stop going out, but I do get concerned when she goes out and says, and sh says tells me she is drunk by 10. She stays out till 3 a.m. She's, she's cheating. Whoa. She's I'm drunk by 10? Respect. Yeah. And she's out by, and she's drunk by 10 and she's still yeah, out there Any like friend group, guy or girl, if they've already cheated before, then they're already, they're like, that homegirl, they're definitely like, like yeah, they're just do it, <laughs> just do it. They're like, they're encouraging so. her I don't, I don't to do so. it. Nah, they are. I don't think so. Nah. So she's cheating they at the cheated afters before. or what? Like, like I said, <laughs> guy or girl. She's guy or girl. I was DJing. I go home early, bro. That's where it happens. It but happens. also, how bad you fuck up that she doesn't even want to spend time with yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, that's too. That's what like, I was thinking. Get but it I together. Like, but okay. step one is that he acknowledged it, you know, and he wants to work towards it. Yeah, but, but at that it point, late? it might be too late. I feel like it's too late. I feel like the ship has sailed and she's already on her If she If she mentally checked out... You, yeah. I heard, wait, you, her, you first, her, first her, mentally her, and then physically? Yes. Yeah. Her curiosity already kicked in. Because sure. a girl will ch mentally check out months before. Months before, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come that's on, bitch, crazy. just suck it. That's that? it. And that's where you gotta start cheating yes. months before. Instead of talking <laughs> about it and saying, hey, yeah. just like, grab it. Okay, but bitch, have you cute. tried talking sometimes bitch, when cute. the yeah. person won't listen? Yeah, and yeah. that's the thing. Look, this is the thing. I think as men, when we, when I'm like, I want to fix something or I'm not feeling a certain way and like the love anymore, then I'll bring it up to the attention and try to fix it. Where can we go from here? But I feel like, well, I'm not saying all girls, but some girls don't mentally check out. They won't even try to communicate and say, hey, you know what? Like, I'm not feeling it no more. And but then they'll fair, say it later. And women then, don't normally check out unless... Something's going on. Something's Something going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not just like, oh, never mind. I don't like this person and anymore. And they don't check out. I mean, they'll be checking out like years in. Like, yeah. I feel like women don't How just do? like years? check out like I have immediately. Like a, I have a. <laughs> we're, all, we're slow burners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been writing it out a little too much. You're going to let the guy propose you know? to you and then you're like, you know what? You know what? No, I'm sorry. You remember oh, that? I think like, that's even worse. Ago, that's worse. That's when the villain And I just didn't appreciate the conversation. I feel like that's the worst thing to happen to you. Yeah. Well, girl, a girl check on you later after you even are engaged and everything. Oh yeah, it's like How just this. Do that right, earlier. What if no like, disrespect? What if you guys are like <laughs> you guys are like married for like 12, 15 years, right? And he tells you that he cheated on you like the second year of marriage. <laughs> But you guys been married for how long? 10 years? You guys years? been mar married for like 15 years. 15, years. 15 or 50? 15. 15. Yeah, I'm going to jail. And the second, the second year of marriage, <sighs> she cheated on you. Doing and now she how, 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 how often and how, like, how... Was it just like a one-time thing on a cruise? Like, one -time on thing? a cruise? Well, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a one-time thing with like, your best friend. If it's on international <laughs> waters, it's not cheating. <laughs> it is not cheating. It was a one-time thing with your best friend. If it's my best friend, we're getting a divorce. Come on. Yeah? Yeah, bitch. My but best like, friend. But like, if it's like a, like a random woman. Stand with nah, a... I feel like, I feel like if it's like between a person that you frequent often, yes, that's fucked up. Yes, yes. Yeah. You literally frequent them. Like, that's yeah. from the IE. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can it be from LA? I don't forgive it. Like if it happened like two years. I'll never forgive. I don't think I could forgive. I could be 60 years But you won't divorce? No divorce. I divorce that old woman. No problem. That's I, but think yourself. about that though. That's the thing. Like now you're like old and you can't really go back in the dating. I got scene. this queen. Oh, Twelve years. Listen. No, I'm no. Only I said 21. sixty. I said okay, sixty. Let's add. Let's add like let's add thirty. Let's add fifty years. Fifty years. Fifty years. Okay. How about uh, okay. thirty years? Thirty, 30 years. Let's, okay. let's, 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 twenty. 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 Twenty.
24. Steph, you're 45. He cheated I, when I you think, were like, he cheated when you guys were like 23. I think I'm 45. I'm, you're 40. I'll, you I'll still divorce. look good. I'll I'll still I'll be, yeah, no, but what, about, what about the That's age 60? When you're like, once you guys divorce, you're gonna probably die alone. Why is he telling me? Because <laughs> he feels guilty. Maybe he what was the also. Fuck, he felt guilty 15 years later. Bro. Honestly, I'd point, probably stay and I'd be like, I cheated too. Yeah. Even if I didn't. Just like, <laughs> Just I'm, mind I'm, mind I feel, I'm gonna feel bad for the rest of this match. I feel like mind game. If we were if we were both old, if we were both old, I'd just kick her king. Hey, hold her. I'll cheat on me. Here's the host. Fuck with me again. I don't know if you guys have seen 60 year olds, but I don't know what kind of Yo, state bad. you're gonna be in. I'm gonna be bomb as fuck at 60. Oh, me too. Yo, for sure. Yo, no, imagine, yeah. imagine you like you you're like you accept it, you're like, all right, it's fine, but you're like you're just petty for the rest of your life. You're like, honey, can you pass me the, the toast? Why don't you ask, why you ask fucking bitch. Ricky to pass you the toast? <laughs> can you pass me my medication? Why don't you ask Ricky to pass you the medication? <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys, if you're 60 and your wife is like, listen, when we were 20, how do you, when we were, let's say you meet your wife. In two years. We were Why not this year? I'm sad and lonely. Okay, fine. When you were 27, when we were 27, I'm I, 25. I, I fucked we're like some 50 dude. now? Yeah, but you're two oh, okay, years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and you're like 50 now. And yeah, he's yeah. like, okay. dude, I fucked. Remember that one guy you thought I was fucking? I that did. Was yeah. 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 I'll ask her, did you suck his dick? <laughs> She's like, it's too far back. Yeah, that's, I, I that's too. That's too. That's true. She's it's like, it's part of it. Like, we've all, we've all, like, we've all agreed that as guys, the worst thing. For a girl to do is not even just not sex. It's sucking his dick. Sucking yeah, oh that's God. more <laughs> intimate. No, because you're looking into a fucking soul. You're pleasuring, pleasuring him. It. You're pleasuring yeah, him. Like, oh my god, because I will never, ever, I've never sucked a guy's dick that I was in like in a relationship with. Queen. And they've asked me, and I'm always like, no, you can eat me out, but I'm not gonna. What? Kiss what? I'm not gonna suck your dick. What? You're giving I'm me not. DJ Khaled vibes. <laughs> 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 And, and they're okay with it. Like, Bring out the sarong. They've never been mad. Like, oh, you're going to suck my dick. Like, no guy. No, he never, cares. No he's, suck, he's getting his dick sucked somewhere else. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> but those are not guys that I'm like with. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> well, that's just just <laughs> um, I feel like I would just play the petty game and be like, I always knew it. I always thought you were a slut. Mm, but, hey, but why is it mind why, games, hey, baby? But why is it that like when when a when a female when you're in a relationship, your wife or your girl doesn't want to have sex, you're okay with it. You have to be okay with it. Because if you keep asking, you're a creep. But the moment you don't feel like having sex, oh, they start getting things in their head like, oh, well, this, 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 and now you're cheating like on me. Blah, they blah, probably blah. Think yeah. that Why is it? Why? That's I feel like, that's I feel like I guess because throughout even, the world. I feel like, <laughs> and I also think because I feel like women and I feel like just society in general has always made men out Hornier? to be horn dogs, yeah, like yeah, always yeah. ready to go. Like uh, always, right. you know, they could get their dick up yeah, yeah. doing anything, you know? So I feel like. If that's, mean, a, if that's the narrative right that women have in their, uh, in their head of from? men just always being ready yeah. to go, yeah. why not right now? Like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Like, you're not, but let's get it. Let's I'll be get like, you, you, can you can eat me out, but... <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can eat my You can eat my ass. You can eat my trombone. You can eat my ass, but I don't Shout out to the trombone with George. That is true. I low-key feel that. That's happened to me. That is true. I'm in a relationship, and then they tell me, no, my bitch, really? You don't want it right now? Where are you gaining it from? Yeah, like, no, not today. I don't think like that. I don't say that. Just no. no, but I can see, I can see that, I can see that. Why? <laughs> oh, you, you, think, you think it's something about you, huh? Yeah. Oh my God. She's like, this is like, you see, and then this is Stephanie, how we, that's how Stephanie. we feel. When that's how we feel. When we go through we some hardcore shit, like, like, I'm telling you right now, like, it, it, why would we think about sex if we're going through some hardcore no, but, shit? Now now we're not animals, that. right? Like, now I understand that. I forgot. Some, I just told somebody, I think I told you, huh. that you were telling me about someone that they were going through something they didn't really have, want to have sex. I don't know. Okay, anyways, it wasn't you. It was probably my cousin. <laughs> I'm getting my dudes confused. You think just because I'm Mexican, we're all the same? <laughs> you do kind of look like him. I'm not going to lie. But wow. anyways, yeah, like, I was like, okay, I understand that now. Like, I, like, now that I've gone through it, I'm like, mm. I know for a fact that, you know, you yeah. be going through shit and you just don't yeah. really care. Yeah. And then you feel bad. You're like, man, yeah. like, I'm not. I mean, not to imagine as a guy, I'll when, give you an when we ask you guys and you guys don't want to, like, we were like, damn, is my dick not good enough? Or, like, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give an example of my marriage. Like, you know, I've been putting it down since I fucking met my girl. I was a horn dog when I was in high school. I was a horn dog. Like, put it down, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to clap every time I see you. I don't give a fuck. Like, a little French rest, poodle? You know? <laughs> like, no matter what time, huh? Like, I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck. But around that time, you know, she was young. And we were both young. So we were like fucking... You know, she was, I was horneado. Horneado. She was I mean, She was more like, nah, let's kick it. And I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, I'm a horneado. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> until, until my uncle passed away during COVID, right? Mm -hmm. He passed away because of COVID. 
And fuck, like my my fucking sex drive went all the way down. I didn't feel like fucking. Yeah. I didn't feel like doing nothing. And then like she started coming at me for like, <laughs> where's that dick? What the fuck? Where's that dick? Give me that now. And like it really hurt me because I'm like, damn, bro. Like when I respected you when we were young, because of how you fell, this and that. Like I respect it, but it's funny how the tables turn and now you like kind of belittle me in the way because yeah. of my sex drive. But I'm like, I-, I had to sit her down and I told her, hey, like. Don't belittle me because you know how the fuck I put it down and you know that that's not me. You know what the fuck is up. You know what the fuck is up. You right now. Like, stop playing with me. But I'm letting you know, like, these past months, like, it's just like, yo, my my uncle died, yo. You know? like, And I told her, I was like, you know, you have family members that passed away too. Like, why are you not, why are you not feeling like that with me? Compassion. Why are you having a big sex drive? Like, mm-hmm. I don't get it, but, but I had to set her down and talk to her. Sometimes yeah. it, it'll it be the opposite. Like, something traumatic happens to you and you get, like, hypersexual. And yeah, that's some people are different. Bro, that's how yeah. I've been since I was born. Yeah. It's fucking weird. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, oh, I just I, I just crashed my car. Let's fuck. <laughs> should, huh? I just crashed my car. Let's fuck. Or I, something happened. Like, let's fuck. Bro, you, know, that's, you know what? My I'm dog toxic because, like, arguments get me horny. Like, yeah. Parents. Like, argue, I fucking love arguments. <laughs> nah. Like, I literally love arguments fighting. Arguments turn me the fuck off now. Fuck that shit, dude. That's <laughs> right. That's right. I'm toxic. Dude, I'm sorry. I went through a toxic relationship, bro, for years, dude. And honestly, like... If I ever, ever get into another relationship, bro, I'm literally gonna tell the girl, like, bro, if you if you wanna argue, I'm just gonna honestly walk out. Cause really? We can have discussions, we can have like, you know, disagreements. Disagreements, but I'm done with the fucking arguing fighting. and yelling yeah, and fighting. Yeah, I'm yeah. done with so, that shit, so you bro. Mean that, that that, no, I'm done, bro. Like, literally, if I just start hearing screaming, I'm out. So, like you don't argument, argument, so you don't get I'm horny, you like, that shit don't turn you on. No, and I don't do it. You'll be yelling. Here with you guys, but with that, bro, I got, I was done, dude. There's a point where, like, we'd be fighting, like, every other day, and I wasn't even yelling anymore. I was just like, all right, I was over it. I was like, cool. I think argue- like she thought I didn't care, but I was like, nah, I just You're don't just care about done. fighting right now. Yeah. I'm done. I'm yeah. done about fighting. Yeah, especially because arguing is just like when someone just doesn't want to listen. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. they don't want to listen because arguments aren't. What you you're gonna say some shit you don't mean later? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be mad. You're gonna be saying some fucking dumb shit. So why am I gonna waste that energy anymore, bro? Yeah. Like, that's what's like, better I'm sitting done, down, dude. sitting on it, and like just talking about yeah, it. Yeah, like, if you're gonna, gonna if, if we're angry and I see that you're yelling, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna leave because I know right now you're not calm. And let's talk when you're calm, because. Bro, honestly, that shit is not worth it. That shit was annoying. It was fucking. It was. Like, so you're just, saying I'm annoying, Aaron? It's draining. Like, it's, thank <laughs> it you, draining, draining, dude. It was so draining. It's just yeah. like I was like, what happened to that love, bro? Because right now this ain't love. This is fucking torture. Like it's you crazy hate how you me. Feel like, that. like we that, hate each other. That realization of like, whoa, we used to like each other is it's like yeah. a slap in the face because you're like, man, like look at where we are now. Yeah. yeah. It was a sad thing to realize that after, but like, you know. You have to split up at that point if you're all you're doing is arguing. Yeah. That's and there's no tired. like, like, like. You don't see anything com- going anywhere. And then you, you don't see anything going anywhere. It's just like, it, it sadly happens, man. But like. And honestly, <sighs> even you saying that, like, oh, um, when I argue, like, I get horny or whatever. I have, I've had a lot of friends where they're in relationships like that where they're like, oh, yeah, we fought, but you know, we had sex after, so it was fine. And I'm like, bro, it's <laughs> not fine. There's like, still you, a lot to unpack. So. Yeah. Like, I didn't talk about anything. You didn't yeah. fix anything. Yeah. You just let bro. off the steam there. And then now you guys are acting No, it like wasn't even, nothing. and it wasn't emotions. It was just horniness. Like, you guys let off your horniness, but what yeah. about your emotions? So you like getting slapped, huh? It was but. physical, not emotional. <laughs> so, 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 that's why I swear, yeah, when you guys have like so, that fucking, um, that makeup so, sex, it's yeah. more rough. Like yeah. you probably have rough sex as it is, but like when you have They're to make a sex, I am a like, gentle yeah, that's, what I, that's what I was telling you, huh? That's what I do. My girl's like, why the fuck you beat me up? I was like, because I'm taking all my anger on you. Hey, Eric, remember hey, what hey, you hey, said hey, last week? Hey, hey Rick, hey, what, hey, what, what about when she takes you? doing that what, what, you. what about when she takes your anger, her anger out on you and she fucking just holds you? <laughs> I feel like if she if she can, she can. She can. You want to fuck with me? Like fucking Darth Vader? Bane. She's got you bouncing. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Who made me mad? All right, we're back. We took a little yo, yo, yo. pee break. <laughs> we took a little you didn't break. have to tell them that. <laughs> I didn't know. Right. Well, we, they know. Like, oh, we, we just took a shit. We just took a hard <laughs> shit. And we all had to we go together fat, holding hands. Yeah, we took a bathroom. fatty in the so. spot. We all took a shit in the same toilet. That's actually my goal in every like cool building I go in. I always want to take a nice poop. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. You know, like, the, like the Ontario Improv. Yeah, we're never coming we're back. We're marking his territory. Yeah, yeah marking my like a dog. Like when Spotify's you go to Mexico, gonna send you, you their like, plumbing. The <laughs> <laughs> plumbing fine. The plumbing. Nah, I'm playing. We made but, it, um, mom. I took a shit in the Spotify toilet. Yes. <laughs> we're wrapping up our hundredth uh, episode here at Spotify, and it's been such a beautiful moment. And earlier, uh, uh, throughout the week, we asked you guys if you guys can send on, send us cool little videos. Um, one thing I didn't think about, I didn't put a time limit. Like, I mean the 
when to by what time. So there's still more to come. So these are the ones we have so far. So we're just gonna react to these, and then the rest we'll put it at the end, mm -hmm. and we'll all still watch it. So uh, let's watch the first couple videos we've received. Oh. Uh, so guys, I just uh, want to say thank you so uh, much for everything you do for the community. Congratulations uh, on a hundred uh, episodes. Uh, really, I mean it since seven day one. But I just want to let you guys know I appreciate everything you guys do. Seeing people like us expand in ways like never before like this is something really nice to see. So thank you guys for everything you do. And I'll be ready for what next episode. Yeah. There are some cheeks. I love how I got the moans and then Aaron's picture. Saul actually edited that. I know he edited. I haven't even seen none of these yet. I haven't seen none of these yet. Did he leave a name? Yo, let's go. I am friends. The biggest Pitulo podcast in the world. That's right. Hey, man, I appreciate you guys. You guys should be very, very proud of yourselves. This is a big deal. Um, I know I'm very proud of you guys. Thank you so much for having me on the podcast, uh, you know, for a couple episodes. And I just want to say, each of you, I, I, I appreciate you guys. Aaron, I appreciate your warm hugs. Uh, <laughs> Caesar, I appreciate your jokes and that beautiful smile. Uh, keep brushing them teeth. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for your fire, bro. Um, it's rekindled me to continue making content, you know? Just just your excitement, bro, alone is, is very contagious, so... Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Enjoy your hundredth episode. I wrote you guys a song for it. <laughs> Not done yet. <laughs> so keep it going, baby. Hey, See you uh, for number two hundred. Yeah, <laughs> love, you, love, you, love you, Eric. Love you, love you. What's up, friends? Happy one hundred episode. <laughs> you actually inspired us to like make us a podcast and all that. Oh, There's they the got the shirt. Oh, yeah, the merch on them. It's called the Night Crew. This is my crew. Congratulations. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. We love y'all. Sick ass guy. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Night Crew. Thank Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Night Crew. Shout out to Night Crew. I am friends. We just want to say congratulations hey. on 100 episodes. I can't believe you guys did it. Honestly, I did not believe in you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you would make 100 episodes, but um, here you guys are. Congratulations. You guys proved us wrong. You guys, <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you, but look at you now. 100 episodes in. And I can't wait for a thousand. Oh. Yeah, but all seriousness, guys, congratulations. That's an awesome milestone. So keep up the great work and uh, keep putting IE on the map. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. We're proud of you and continue your success. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Thank you, Ramon. Thank you, Ramon. Hey, what's up? Hey. I want to give a huge shout out to IE and Friends Podcast. Thank you for letting me be a part of your guys' podcast. Congratulations on 100 episodes. I know when I did the podcast, <laughs> oh, man. I know when I did the oh, work. I know when I did the podcast, you guys were really, really hungover because you guys just had had the Halloween uh, party, and Caesar was going through a breakup with his baby. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, but thank you guys. Please. Literally, oh that same God. month Shout we had him, so when we had him on the show. We literally still had girls at the house, like. Like just like fucking getting all the in, stuff in their costumes, in yeah, doing the walk of shame in their costumes, leaving the, the house. They say bye to him. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, friends? Hey. I'd like to congratulate you guys on a hundred episodes. That's an amazing accomplishment, and I wish you guys much more success. Big shout out to you guys. Yeah, yeah thank Rob you. Roll G. Roll G. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I can't believe it's been a hundred episodes already. Congratulations, you guys. You guys have been doing such a phenomenal job in our community and in the new podcast world. I'm so proud of everything you've accomplished. I can't wait to see what you guys do next. The next hundred episodes or whatever your next big project is. I just know I'm here for the ride and the journey and I'll always be supporting. So proud of you guys. And again, congratulations for a hundred episodes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you oh, Ashley. She's so Appreciate sweet. you. She's always so supportive. Yeah, Ashley's amazing. Yeah. Spider-Man? Yo, congrats oh, no. to the I and friends on hitting their 100th episode. You already fucking know it's Frankie from the Little Brown Boys. You guys are definitely sick-ass fools out there doing <laughs> the IE. Shout out to Saul, Air Bear, and Caesar. Keep doing your thing. You already fucking know, bro. <laughs> the Little Brown Boys signing off, bro. Peace. Thank you, yes, Frankie. Shout out to Frankie. Little Brown Boys. Shout out to Brown Boys. Hola mi gente! <laughs> Congratulations to I Am Friend Podcast on your 100th episode from me and Lil Contempo. Um, my favorite part of the podcast was when I met you guys in person. I was part of it. Thank you so much for having me. And I can't remember, I can't forget how we just were laughing the whole time. 
And also how I thought um, Air Bear hated women. <laughs> <laughs> Love to Saul, Caesar, and of course Air Bear. And I wish you many blessings and many more. Cool. Thank you, Julio. Thank you, Julio. Shout out con tiempo. Let me see if, they, if someone has someone on my phone. At some point, you gotta, you gotta admit, sometimes it's you. Sometimes no. it comes out. Sometimes it's you. A little strong. Just because I disagree on something doesn't mean I hate women, man. Yo, that, that was beautiful. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah. That was yeah. fucking yeah. beautiful. I'm gonna have to let a fucking yeah. woman There's fuck me to like show my proof and shit. <laughs> on, on, on Patreon. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let a woman fuck peg me or something, bro. I nice. swear, that Jesus was, Christ. I know a couple. Okay, why that? Everybody thinks I hate men. Why, 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 why do you want to be that? I'm, I'm showing sure sure my submission. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so so you could take oh, a woman on about a peg, nice date. No? I did take a woman on a date. He's not treating a woman nicely. No, I'm gonna get pegged. I'd rather get fucked in the ass. Revenge. I will. This we are coming to an end. Thank you guys so much. Round of applause for everyone. No, honestly, good. Round of applause for you guys. Before though, I wanted to ask you guys, um, what, what's your 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 goal? Like, goal? what's your next goal? Because you guys One have my... hit this milestone, uh -huh. and now okay. you know you can only go up from here. I want to uh -oh. say this since we're in the Spotify building. We're in the Spotify mm. studios. So my uh, since the beginning, I was like, we are going to be the biggest Latino podcast. And have the biggest contract from Spotify. Hey. Mike, write this down. Hey. Hey. Tell, 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 your, tell your guys. Tell I said it. I'm manifesting it. Manifesting with Joe Rogan Studio right here. Yes. <laughs> so that's My. the goal. No, the goal. Like that's literally one of the goals. I mean, that's like a cool goal. But also the goal. I feel like I'm already. Well, we're already accomplishing our goals of like just helping people get through their days. That's literally yeah. like how we. The the person on to take the mic. It was. <sighs> that's literally what. We did the podcast for to create a sense of friendship mm -hmm. where people never feel alone. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was working in Amazon, I felt super alone by myself. So I would listen to podcasts, but I never found a podcast that made me feel like I was with a group of friends. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's beautiful when I see people tell me like, uh, oh, like I listen to you guys at work. And I'm like, that's what I used to do. Mm -hmm. So it's Big a time. huge shout out to Caesar. No, thank you. Huge shout out to Aaron. Shout and out to you, you guys. guys joining the team. It's a beautiful thing. My my goal is to make sure people know I don't fucking hate women. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Uh, my personal goal, or like as in the I in friends, as in uh, that and anything. I think we've reached such a like a not a, I don't I don't want like a like a like a place now yeah. where I can now develop my own brand and create yeah. my own stuff. Um, because you know people have always told me like just do your own thing mm -hmm. and like be part of the podcast, but also now start your own ventures. grab those friends that like enjoy my content and create more mm -hmm. for them so that's my goal this year nice. so yeah you should, you should be seeing a lot more of my annoying face yeah. beautiful Everywhere. beautiful yeah. well thank you guys so so thank much you guys. literally this would have not been possible without your guys' support uh, with your guys' love and all the shares because we don't pay up our Instagram Nothing. pages to post us it's yeah. all 100% authentic Done uh, by y'all yeah. thank you guys we are your friends we are your family we are your besties we are your besties, besties. People, you guys can, we are your call on. We, are, yeah. call on yeah. <laughs> we call y'all when we're your friends, your besties, and people you can call on. So, mm -hmm. thank you guys so much yeah. for being part of the history of the IE network. Uh, we appreciate you guys so much, and we will see you next week. We love you. Thank Peace. you. Peace. Bye. Bye. Oh my God, I could do this right now. What? what? I fucking hate everyone here. Oh, you can do <laughs> oh! I did it here every time we would film since the very first episode. I would say that at the end. Yeah. Now no, you said it here at the Spotify, Spotify studio. studio. <laughs> and thank you so much to Spotify. We Shout thank you Spotify. Spotify. Thank you Spotify. We thank filmed you. our hundredth episode at the Spotify studio in Los Angeles, and it's been such a huge honor. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Mike. Thank you, Nat. Shout out, Mike. Shout out, Michael. Yeah. Yes, and, uh, yeah, shout out to all the upcoming podcasters. You guys can do it too. Let's do it. Bye. 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 Peace out. Woo. Good job, guys. Yeah, that was good. Amazing. Good Freaking best episode ever. Hey guys, happy 100th episode. I personally just want to congratulate you guys on this milestone. There's many more to be made. Just you wait and see. I'm so lucky to have had the chance to be on your guys' show. Not only is it hilarious, but it's also very informative. Well, here is to 100 more episodes and counting. Keep making the IE laugh and everybody else. Bye guys. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm the Black Mexican and I want to make a special shout out to the IE and Friends, one of the number one podcasts in the entire world. A hundred episodes, that is mind-blowing, right? So I just want to say congratulations. Good luck, guys. 
Saul, Aaron, Caesar, congratulations guys on reaching the 100th episode. You guys are doing amazing. Can't wait to see what's in store in the future for you guys. You guys are a huge inspiration to all of us. Mad love from San Diego. Y como siempre, vive con huevos. Hey guys. Congrats on your 100th episode. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys for, you know, for letting me be part of the podcast, for having me. Um, that's crazy, 100 episodes. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys should come to 7 Eleven. Yeah, collab. 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 But congrats. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. And you guys are amazing. Bye. Bye. Episode Hun- one. Oh, f- Episode 100, guys. That's a huge ass accomplishment, bro. People love you guys. We love you guys. So shout out to the whole IE network. Fucking IE and besties. Bueno, bueno. IE and friends, of course. Shout out to all of you guys. Can't forget you. Can't forget IE and movies, too. Oh, yeah. It was in there and shit. Of course. But I love you guys. Y'all killing it. Keep doing your thing. Keep shining. Y'all fucking stars, bro. And fuck all the haters that be talking shit. Like, (laughs) what the fuck is that? Salut! Euh, je tenais à faire une vidéo pour vous féliciter pour votre centième épisode. Et aussi, je voulais vous remercier parce que ça va faire presque deux ans que je vous écoute sans arrêt. Et euh, vraiment, j'adore vos personnalités. Puis je vous souhaite le plus de succès pour ce qui est à venir. Bye bye! Shout out to the boys at IE and Friends on their 100th episode. What a milestone. Uh, within the first five seconds I was on that podcast, I felt like family. I felt like a friend. I'm honored to be part of IE and Friends history. That's all three of you couldn't happen to three better people, honestly, and I mean that. So congrats on 100 episodes. Can't wait for uh, episode 200. What's up, friends? Happy 100th episode. Man, you guys have been killing it since the beginning. You guys are hilarious. Keep it going. Keep it running. And here's 100 more. And last but not least, it's about to go down. Hey, what's up, homies from I Am Friends? This is your boy, Carlos. You know, I just want to say thank you for the dope-ass podcast that you guys have created. You know, thank you to Saul, Caesar, and Aaron for, like, you know, all the dope fucking things that you guys tell us. You know, shout-out to you guys. And, um, Aaron, get your bitches up, my boy. Un saludo to I Am Friends. Congrats on 100 episodes. Um, thank you for always making my day and bringing all the positive vibes. Um... Shout out to you guys and much love. Peace. 100 episodes. Yo, IE and friends. Saul, Caesar, Aaron, congratulations, guys. Uh, it only gets better from here. It was such a milestone. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, Ruben Nahara here signing out. Peace, love, and positivity. And continue to do your things, brothers. Peace. Congratulations. I e and friends. ¿Mm? Ya, ya era tiempo. 100 videos. No manches. Y todavía no traen dinero. Te estoy hablando a ti, Saúl. Y a ti, César. Y a Aarón también. Pónganse las pinches pilas. ¿Mm? Porque no quiero que estén gastando su pinche tiempo haciendo videos ahí y ni ganan dinero. ¿Mm? No, ustedes tienen que salir adelante. Pónganse las pinches pilas. Y gracias por tenerme. Los quiero mucho y que Dios los bendiga. Aaron, Caesar, and Saul, congratulations on your 100th episode. I'm so incredibly proud of you guys. Happy to continue supporting you guys from the very beginning. I remember you guys had less than 500 followers. And to see how much of an impact you guys have made in the Latino community is incredible. Bendiciones. Blessings, congratulations. Sí, what's up, I am friends. Congratulations, boys, for 100 episodes. Felicidades por 100 episodios. Uh, thank y'all for having me on. It was a pleasure being part of uh, of a podcast that's putting on for the cultura. And, uh, and uh, I hope y'all keep growing and keep succeeding. Keep going. Los amo. Sí, sí. Let's talk about bitches. I got a lot of types and they different. She come from the south, she Brazilian. You stuck in your feelings. Her guts, I be feeling. Jamming as Lil's ain't nine, can't do it. Let's talk about bitches. I got a lot of types and they different. She come from the south, she Brazilian. You stuck in your feelings. Her guts, I be feeling. Jamming as Lil's ain't nine, can't do it. Let's talk about, yeah. Talking about bitches. Tore up her pussy and gave her some stitches. Breaking her back like a chiropractor visit. I go so hard, I'm fucking explicit. From the east.